Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road to Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream musher, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of ourselves, and I got company! Yo, God. Jeez, are you okay? I am hyper. Okay. <laughs> no, shit! <laughs> Look, I'm excited for this, okay? I've been wanting this to be a thing for weeks. <laughs> so have we. Yes. We've been, we've been trying to get this going for a while. I know. I'm so happy I finally get to D and D again. I'm so Yay. happy. Oh my God, y'all are killing me. Yos, there is, there is no bard, yos. No. No bard. Bard stuff probably won't be till Baldur's Gate. <laughs> no Bard, what, what only mean? Rangers. <laughs> yeah. No, we have but a Ranger, also, a Barbarian. Listen, listen. I, I will say this, though. If ever we're doing this again, I'm definitely being a Bard. And oh. All, you, all of you to hell and high heaven. <laughs> bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Are you, are you going to be the horny Bard? Uh, no, I am the sexy utility bard. Sexy utility bard. In other words, a semi horny bard. Yes. Okay, hold on, I gotta get some of y'all louder. Dogman, say a thing? No. No. Alright, you definitely need to be louder. Do you play Lethal Company Flarg, with them at some point? Flarg, say a thing? Yes. Okay, you're fine. Your volume is fine. Okay! Since we don't have a whole lot of time, we probably should just jump right into this. So I will just uh, say the recap that I wrote to y'all earlier today, but let me get some wonderful little immersive music to go with it. So... To not beat around the bush too much, you all began in an empty room with a table, a book, and ash sitting at said table. You found rep repetitious scrawlings of descending madness scattered about the wall, along with evidence of attempted escape that had clearly been in vain. A journal was left as well detailing an attempt to escape that just added just more insult to injury of the fate of the individual whose ash you had found. Upon leaving that room, however, and beginning to descend the staircase, you were called to by an entity calling themselves the Silence, whom wished you to find his song. Through his domain, however, have been monsters, but also epiphanies. Kida, you found your beloved crow. Jeremy, You've been studious and, and have found symbols related to beings and organizations you've known and seen before. Isari, you've been still you've been still in search of finding your precious little shiny. Mogar, you have arguably the greatest gift in all this, and haven't already had what you seek within you. But there could always still be more. Upon finding another room that cascades so high that the walls are lost to darkness, however, a woman with white hair falling like a waterfall in a cage was seen guarded by a wyvern. After almost killing said wyvern, the woman intervened and demanded answers. Upon hearing what you know, however, she grew weary. Coming from her cage, you then knew that you had found Song, and she'll tell you what she knows. The room that you wandered into is sealed from Silence's ability of clairvoyance, meaning that you can take the time here to mend your wounds, tie up any loose ends, find more clues, and connect any dots that you have already found before making your final decision to seek Silence once more. So, y'all remember your characters? How you've been going about so far? You remember the information that you have found? You got your notes? I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope. If people do need any reminders on some things, like, I am more than open to give that. 
this is yeah. going to be a little bit of a spot for y'all to obviously like talk with Son and character. There are some things around in her little abode here that I will say are important to look into. You just have to find them. Uh, remind me how I sounded last game. Ah, uh, no, no. Kind of uh, like, kind of about like that, yeah. Exactly like that, actually. Oh, all right, I will continue like this. Good yes, night. that's actually I, the exact I'm, voice you use. I am glad that I did lose it. You know, long time. Kind of rusty, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm good. Uh, well, I do need to, uh, to uh, remember. I do need to recall uh, what were my last uh, few sentences. Your so actually gets my juice pumping. Yeah. And also, if for those in the party that want immersion, there's a link in the side chat for the music that I got going on. But I was just about to ask you about that music. What? Yeah. Since I just scrolled up and found it. It has been a while since... I don't have what you said exactly on hand, but Mogar, you were basically kind of the voice of reason that led to the the party wanting to listen to Song and insist that you guys hear her side of the story. Because I, I, if then, I remember and correctly... Then we, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, I remember correctly, like, Sari and Jeremy both, because qu Asari was questioning, like, who to trust, and Jeremy agreed with Asari, because we're not sure which one is telling the truth. Yes. Yeah, so some of you are still on the fence, some of you are, are open to hear what song has to say. So right now, Song is basically all ears for whatever questions that you have of her. And then <clears throat> the only other question I have was, did we, uh, before we get, to get into it, uh, did we yeah. actually get to rest from the Wyvern battle or not yet? You have not been able to, to truly rest yet. If you guys do want to take the time here for a long rest, yeah. I will allow it since time ha time is just a construct here. <laughs> I will say though that we re we had a bit of a rest beforehand, and the wyvern was okay. Regrettably, a, a very easy mark. Yeah, true. <laughs> that and you guys did also get quite a bit of loot earlier. The wyvern was a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> giant lady in room. Giant lady here. I don't care. Does the wyvern understand what I'm saying? Oh, the wyvern! Good. The, the, the <laughs> no, wyvern I, is I'm, still in its bubble, like, way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I didn't say that, obviously. I'm not that much of an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <sighs> I don't want to hear it from you. No. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm... <clears throat> character now. You called song by another I only have but a few questions I will start with one of my that my companions ask you theirs but tell us if you are a godly figure of our world or of another what is your role? Well, you are long silence, as you've told us. You cannot truly bring in your affairs. You're cutting out a little bit, Mogar. Can you get a little bit closer to your mic? Okay. We are only but people looking to return home. And we will need both your stories to make our moral choice. So I say unto you, what is your purpose and your story? You see her 
you you see her body language lax. She's all she's always been rather lax. She doesn't seem one to be tense or for lack of a better phrasing, terse. But your questions definitely do do ring to her for a moment. Unfortunately, the simplest things that I may say are that I have no reason to be here, yet part of me has chosen to stay as much as I regret it. My purpose is to be the antithesis of silence, while silence himself brings malady, madness, isolation. I intend to bring community, joy, love, and for lack of better phrasing, it's because of that what I am and what I bring are one. And with that also, they bring my worst fault to where I have wished to bring my gift to silence, and yet he has taken it for something more than it truly is. He sees, he sees my gift as his, you see her struggle with words, while humans see while humans see what I bring as celebration and sanctuary, silence sees it as a way out. And before, I didn't see his true intentions with what I wanted to give to him. And it's only now during time that he wishes to keep me that I see his true intention. And it's now during the time that I wish to be let free that he won't give that to me. Mogar puts his hand up. Are you saying on to us that you have tried to bring your gifts to your literal and thesis, the literal invert of you. In my knowledge, those are struggles, not res resolutions of peace. Dark and light never will get along, and if the darkness has disillusioned the gift of life as some twisted form of affection. I truly see not how we could help apart from mortal reasoning. And to your problem, you are the only one the ability to take yourself out of this situation. And yet you see that I have none. Not without risking anything. Indeed. My last resort is unfortunately something that would be my own undoing. The Ashen Call It is a power that only a fool would use, yet a fool is one of desperation. The Ashen Call would make me mortal in order to expel Silence's own abilities over me. But the Ashen Call would also allow you all a way out. 
So would it be best for me to expel my own immortality? Or would there not be a way for you all to potentially curb Silence's own abilities by your own will? Because let's be honest, I doubt that silence would keep his end of whatever promise he, have ma he has made with you. Because he sees promise in you, for better and for worse. You would be surprised how much silence has planned. He stomps his foot a bit towards her. I am just for questioning. But how exactly would you know the intention of he who is so dark and mysterious? How, how exactly would you know that we have value? We know our worth, and I think that none of us are that special that higher beings would want us for anything bigger than this. Because in lands you have yet known, your names already reign true. Don't believe me? You can look around here. I can assure you that there will be evidence sufficing to my claim yet be prepared because for some of you it holds destinies that you may not be prepared for lest you want to twist your own fate my precious thing in room my uh, were answered I have no other wait for the others to ask their questions if they have any before liberating the answer an understandable sorry, decision <clears throat> sorry go on you sorry mm. uh, I was gonna say it's sorry we just kind of like start looking around the room kind of like twisting his head all over the place and then he just look at song and just be like precious item in room look for precious item here your precious item will be here but be careful there will also be some things that you may not desire that you might see first if you're not careful Okay. Hold to your intentions. That's the best thing I can say. And they will lead you to what you need. <clears throat> I have a question for you, Song. Ask away. When you said about twisting our fates, how, how do, how does one do it here? And what are the consequences? There are some aspects of one's fate that are forever ingrained, no matter what form you may take. Whether you believe in reincarnation, whether you believe in parallel universes, all possibilities of new life that you can potentially think of are possible. But there are parts of yourself that will never be forgotten, not by your true self. But that does mm. mean that there are some parts of yourself that will forever change. But you four, your lineages have been destined Huh. I wonder what we're destined for now. 
the bonds that you share, no matter how small, no matter how short, no matter how simple, some are predestined, some unexpected, but all of them connect to one another. I can only assume that you may have an idea on what that may entail as she looks over to Jeremy for a moment. At the very uh, least, you seem the studious type. What have you found that may hold to this claim? Uh, during all this time, uh, Jeremy has sort of half listened to everything while going back and forth between writing in his blue and red notebooks. And uh, closing his red notebook, he simply shrugs and says, there is not much that I can offer. Most of this is beyond my pay grade. Um, I pay only grade. know... Pay grade aside, you have much more knowledge than you claim to feign. Well, everyone does to some extent. Bissari kind of like because he's just curious and he doesn't really like know what to do in this situation he kind of like moves over to Jeremy and just like taps him with like a claw and just like is trying to figure out so he just goes oh human understand more human no more human has books lots of books does not seem scared he simply nods and says yes human no more uh, as he does so, he tucks away his two notebooks back into his jacket, along with his other four. I worry for you. Well, you should. This is way beyond me. Well, I can... my coat, I'm sorry to While well, this upon you. <clears throat> Wait, was that to Song or to Jeremy? I said white coat, didn't I? Okay, Derp. Yeah. yeah, he said white coat. Okay, I didn't hear the white coat. Je Jeremy <laughs> just stands up and sort of shrugs again, saying, I could decode most of what happened in the shack there, but pretty much as soon as we entered this realm, this room, what, wherever we are right now, I'm lost. So I'm just trying to gather as much information as I can. And as he says this, he pats the side of his coat that has his books. And just, just survive. One more time, you cut out. Well, Yes, obviously. We were in one realm in the shack, another with silence, and another with song. You, you bring up a question. What realm are we in? Is it one that we know in, our, in any books in our worlds? Or is it just silence's realm? I'm, I'm sure for... someone's got... I'm sure someone's got a classification for it, but to be honest, I'm quite stumped here. Maybe Song has an answer for that. Unfortunately, your friend has some information wrong. We have all been stuck in Silence's realm. I have just used my magic in this particular area to ensure that we are hidden from his presence. Frankly, it comes at a price because I have made ways for the way out to be difficult. In order to ensure my own safety time. and privacy. 
giant lady strong. Giant lady has magic powers. Why not use powers to go fly? Because when a god is absorbed into another god's domain, whether it be willingly or not, it is a lot more difficult than you think to get out. No better than walking into someone's home. You may be invited in, but the only way to reasonably get out is to be escorted, lest you've been given permission to leave already. Otherwise, or, you may essentially be the other person's captor. Or if you have a skeleton key of some sorts, but... You think a deity has a skeleton key to another god's domain? I've met a few. And Enlighten I me, then. You... As she now seems to... She, she's really sizing you up right now, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? You got you got a way out. Tell me now. You fucking what, mate? Oh, you really won't be telling me that you think you can best me, mate. <laughs> oh fucking god, yo! <laughs> oh my god! I'm fucking Jesus, you here. <laughs> Everyone's gone cockney. <laughs> I'm just listening. Of course. But but no, at, at Song's question, um, Jeremy just smiles and pulls out his red and uh, black notebooks and starts to flip through some of the pages. Uh, let's see, there was a nature deity who could visit a water deity. There was a thunder god who could meet the human realm as well as that of the uh, my handwriting was so bad at this age um i want to say creature realm but it looks terrible anyways there are a lot of back doors as long as you know where that back door is you while you're like listing all of these uh bullet points you see Solomon's hand kind of dance around in rhythm to all your points and yet, you forget what I had said. Well, I haven't forgotten. I'm just simply saying, in other situations, it's been this way. None of them had any skeleton key or anything to just waltz into another, into another person's home. They had permission. They were given their keys. They were given their means to explore out of reciprocity and communication and collaboration. Sure. No deity has any means to force their way into the into someone else's command. Another well, way that you can think of it, no vampire can be allowed in another person's home cannot be allowed to feed, cannot be allowed to rampage and destroy an entire homeland, lest they are invited in. Distraught. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, we, we, we've got an ad break. <laughs> oh, Damn okay. ad break. Road, I, 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 oh, don't see an ad break. Oh, unless I was given the thing, but okay. But I need to ask your own. Yeah. So can, can I... Like, I want to think on what everything that Silence said. Uh, and I want to know if I can recall enough to be accurately sure if Silence had some kind of twisted romantic feeling or like a... I, I, I want to recall if that was it. Or it was I... just control manipulation. I think considering said... the oh, most sorry. that he had ever said oh. was that he tried to imply that Psalm does not know what she is doing. So any any feeling of like romance or anything like that, you I will say you cannot discern unless you want to roll. 
I, I, I do want to roll because he also implied a s semblance to uh, Mogar having lost everything. Mm-hmm. And, and Lo Song being there, everything. So I'm, I'm kind of here just thinking that perhaps the trickster can be tricked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our <laughs> break is over when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Rosa's just hey, super hey. delighted. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. What, what was no, no, the roll okay. again? Okay, well, no, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, <laughs> I need you to, I need you to do that again, but in your deep Mogar voice. <laughs> uh, do what again? The ooh, ooh, she ooh, wants ooh, you to ooh, do the ooh. squeal of excitement. <laughs> no, the little, the ooh squeal. He wants ooh. to do that. Fucker <laughs> okay. so sounds like Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll just, what was the what was the rolling? For again? I'll, I'll just uh, say for skill? the sake of simplicity, right now, just a basic uh, intelligence roll. Basic intelligence roll. Yeah. Uh, that would be okay. Straight up seventeen. Then I seventeen. Damn, pretty good. Yep. You are not 100% certain, but you definitely feel like this is leaning more towards romantic possession. Mm. Toxic so, relationship. I would like a... Actually... I look at the horny boy. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> No, green teeth. Green teeth. Green teeth. Fine, Barkhead. <laughs> so, okay, Wolf me. Boy. Accompany me to the other side of the room, I suppose. If privacy is what you need, as you now see her shrink herself even even more to be about your height mogar but now she is even brighter so <laughs> i'm gonna need all of y'all real quick to uh to do i'll just do a simple oh uh, which one is it because i'm wanting y'all to roll yeah yeah con, yeah do a con saving throw or else y'all gonna be blinded by the light uh, oh, no. Blinded by the light. Well, I guess I'm going oh. blind then because I rolled okay. a seven. Okay. <laughs> That's my old ass and my old eyes. Uh, actually, can I have, oh. can, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I, ha can I have a uh, an advantage for having old um, bad eyes? Um, <laughs> I think that would be disadvantage, buddy. <laughs> Hey, oh, bro, oh, okay. well, considering consider one eye doesn't work properly. But yeah, I only have one eye. One eye tends to prioritize depth perception, not light sensitivity. I hey, know this because one of my siblings is is half blind. Actually, yeah, no, I, I should have this advantage. I'm also, uh, I see in darkness. <laughs> True. Okay, well, I see darkness. Okay, so, hey, um, so do I get this advantage? I will be kind to you considering you have been okay, really close. Okay, so 12. Kita? Um, first net 20, guys. God damn it. Oh my hey. god. <laughs> That's why you were, I was like, what are the, you watching? You're like, so, mm, mm hmm mm. So Song lights up the, the universe and they just put on sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy? Me, meanwhile, uh, since I rolled... Yeah, anyone and that... Then there's yeah, Isari, huh? you got a seven? Yeah, I was going to say, Isari's about to just roll around in sheer utter agony. I will say anyone that rolled under a 12, y'all be blinded. Hey, yeah. meets it, beats yeah, it. So I beat it. Barely. <laughs> you barely beat it. So as, basically... as, as Jeremy goes over giving Kita like some, uh, some sunglasses and pulling a fucking CSI meme. <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, y'all start hearing crow noises as the like, sorry flaps around the room trying to find some shelter from the light 
Uh, I for... saw a right, big right, green right, knee. Right, 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 right. Knee, uh, Dirk. Knee, Dirk. Isa, are you roll a deck? Roll decks to see if you can keep yourself from like ramming into anything. Uh, deck six, deck six, six. The as Son uh, goes with oh, you, Bogar, to wherever nine. you feel. Yes, I rolled a nine. Uh, Song, <laughs> do you really oh, need to be oh, so sorry. condensed in light? <laughs> Unfortunately, like that is something this. that I can't exactly control. It's why I tend to prefer larger forms, because then I tend to be dimmer, yeah. less noticeable. Fine. Yeah. It will only take a moment. I rolled a and... nine, so I don't know if that saves me from running into anything. No. Um, <laughs> I, I think that does the opposite, actually. <laughs> yep. I will say... Uh, is... Oh, sorry. Dogman? Uh, that, I was just going to say, at least it's not an at one. Yeah. So, oh. so Isari, I will say, game. while you are flapping, squawking away from... Ah, blind! 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 You end up going beak first into a pillar, but you oh. don't go hard enough to where you take damage. You like you're looking away from Song at this point, so your eyes eventually are able to adjust. You see some really interesting carvings on this pillar. Some seem kind of pictographic, others seem more borderlining, like hieroglyph hieroglyphic. Hmm. So Sari's just basically hugging this pillar for dear life until his eyesight comes back. Yeah. And, and then he's just like, oh. I symbols. will I will note that there are a few symbols on here that look very much akin to Raven's feathers. Oh, wait, wait, how, 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 how can you depict specifically raven feathers and not just a regular <laughs> well, ass feather? They're jet black, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they just paint the fucking pillars. Exactly. <laughs> so, while well, you guys are over there, and I, I feel like Kita's the only one watching me fucking flap around in utter agony. Um, poor, sorry. Poor, <laughs> poor, poor bird. Yes. Isari basically, like, once his eyesight's back, starts, like, running his hands along the pillar. And then he just goes silent for a little bit. He goes, symbols, gotta write symbols, 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 gotta write, gotta write. Because he has, he pulls out a little book he keeps in a pack underneath his, like, coat. He, everyone and with he the books basically... here. <laughs> ah, yeah. you have a notebook as well. Yeah. But he basically, like, it's the first time where he's actually, like, he just, his, his personality does a 180. It shifts, he goes silent, and he just starts copying with, like, near-perfect precision what is on the pillar. Because he's trying to figure out, like, what it is, and he can't really fully see. Yeah. So, he's okay. just copying at this moment. It's kind of hard to copy it exactly when you've just been flashbanged. I mean, you still got a decent bit of light from Song, even with her being a decent bit away. <laughs> yeah, so he's just, he's copying what he can see. That's why he wants to copy it, because he knows he can't really fully see what it is. Like, he can't read it or anything, but he's like, he's just trying to copy yeah. it. Yeah. Because he does have some dark vision. He just got blinded, but that's as his back is turned, his eyes adjusted. Blinded by the light. So while everyone is doing what they're doing, he's just yeah. doing this. Kira, Jeremy, like really hyper focused on it. Yeah, Kira, Jeremy, you two planning to do anything? No, uh, Jeremy's just going to research back into his books, see if there's anything he missed going back over his notes. I will say, looking uh, uh, looking back into your notes, concerning you've been carved you've been archiving a lot of stuff. Um, you, like, you've obviously, like, written, like, the the poem that the uh, now fallen wood elf had written from, like, the very first room that you guys were in. You have the 
that they're like a symbol that he made um and you also have another symbol from the other journal that he had from the from the wood elf's findings or his own like personal archive do you have anything that you want to focus on from those um I say he's going to go back into um, his green notebook and try to uh, try to study the symbol a bit more. Okay, which one? The symbol from the journal or the symbol that was scrawled on the walls? The journal. Okay. That symbol, I will say, you remember that it was... It's the same symbol that you've seen in other situations of the Order of the Feeding Hand. Right. Do you need to remember more on the Order of the Feeding Hand? I think I do. I think I okay, then roll me history. Where is it? There it is. Okay, first of all, that virtual dice did a double backflip, which was fucking sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> the second of all, uh, it's an 18. 18, <coughs> not bad. So, you remember that the Order of the Feeding Hand was an organization founded by an individual who was simply known as the Thinker. Though you wouldn't think of him as the founder, given his appearance being very large, buff, but still sagely in its own way. An intimidating look at the at what time can bring effectively. I gotcha. And yet you definitely feel that the order in some way has seemed to have lost its roots because literally the 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 symbol of the feeding hand is a hand feeding a crow and you think back to the phrase of like don't bite the hand that feeds okay when, when you say their origins have mostly been lost, do I know that their leader was more of a spiritual one, such as Christianity with God, or more of a physical person, um, such as Buddhism, where they have one central person who lived, who founded the religion? More akin to Buddhism. I will say that they are not... I wouldn't go to the point of prophet, like the say like Muhammad or Jesus. Right. Um, I would say definitely more akin to what you mentioned with like Buddha. Gotcha. So there was some guy who founded the organization and that has been passed down through many iterations. Or not iterations, uh, generations. Yeah. Alrighty. Are you wanting to try and remember anymore? Um. I think that is going to stop and then go back to the symbol on the wall. Okay. And, and reference it with his black book. Or not, as uh, his uh, uh, green book. Yeah. And yes, I know the colors. I have them written down. Okay. So when it Good comes thing you're to... you're not colorblind. <laughs> Red, green, colorblind. Oh, boy. So <laughs> from the symbol that was on the wall, you recognize this as an alternate symbol that the Order of the Feeding Hand has used. This hourglass sort of kind of symbol is one that is held rather dear to the Order. Because the order talks of, obviously, with the, that it takes the phrase of "don't bite the hand that feeds." 
almost to an extreme in a very philosophical sense of basically don't try to don't try to change what has never been what has never happened but at the same time be ready for what can change there are aspects of time that are heavily embedded in the order's philosophy and with that you start to connect the dots but actually before i say that mm -hmm. I don't want to say that you've connected the dots on a certain thing yet. I want you to put in the effort to connect those dots. So. Well, aren't you just a peach? <laughs> so fuck you, figure it out yourself. With all the love in the world. Uh, there's the puzzle pieces. Figure Kita it wants out. A turn. What, what was that? Kita wants a turn. Okay. Aww. Aww. Kita, 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 I... I've got a thing. Jeremy's got a thing. Mogar, poor little Keita, is just with his precious crow. <laughs> it's uh, sweet, heart, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry for taking the spotlight. Hey, all good. All right. You know That's what, right. Jeremy? Give me another history throw, but okay. I won't tell you what your result means until after I check in with Keita. Sounds good. Well, that that roll was less cool. Uh, Twenty-five. <laughs> What? <laughs> the, the roll was... itself was magnificent, I... but the way the virtual dice went was. I'm mad. sorry, but you're saying, oh, that was shit. 25. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, the, no, the other one, the other one literally did a double backflip all the way across the screen. Pixar didn't happen, baby. Uh, guys, guys, seriously, that that was the biggest. Uh, don't let them know your next move. Kind of, kind of trip, like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, anyways, what a shit 25. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like, oh, damn, that uh, was crap. 20. Okay. So, to blue ball you, Kita! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> what was that? <laughs> hey, that Technically, blue balling would be in the blue book, so go ahead. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. <laughs> Please be quiet and continue. Kita, what do you want to do? Let's see. As like Jeremy was look, going for the book, like I Kita noticed, noticed the crow symbol. Oh, the so, order of the feeding hand. Yep, the crow and the and the hand. So yeah. Oh, I would like to ask Germany a question. Ooh. You're asking Germany. Yeah. How the fuck is Germany gonna answer? Germany, what the hell? Jeremy, you have a German yeah. accent now. Oh, Jeremy. Okay. Das, das Vidania. Uh, That's I'm Russian, so dipshit. I'm sorry, my nose is a bit stuffed up. Oh, I, uh, my ears must be getting bad. <laughs> it sounds like you forgot what Germany was for a second. So, uh, what's Germany? <laughs> Uh, but you you can you can attempt to ask him a question or get his attention, but he is like thoroughly digging in his books at the moment. Mm -mm. Hey, um, lab coat guy, I got a question for you. <laughs> it, it has to do it, it, it has to do with a symbol that's on my back. I'm just wondering if you can rec if you recognize it or something. You know what I love? Jeremy has been demoted from Jeremy. Well, actually, he's never been called Jeremy. No. He's just called no, White Coat. No, he was always White Coat. <laughs> in fact, yeah, if, memory serve, coat. if memory serves, I don't think he's ever given his name to this group. Yeah. Do, 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 do. He technically hasn't, but it's always been, it's been funny because uh, Mogar's been the one to call him White Coat. And, um, uh, Wait, did we, did we our, actually present each other? Yes, we did. And all he of, didn't okay. give yeah. his name. Yeah, all of you yeah, except yeah, for yeah. Jeremy, because Jeremy is being edgy little shout of the hedgehog. No, 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 no. That we all presented ourselves, but Mogar was literally like, "You could all give me your names, but I will not call you by your names ever." That's right. <laughs> I, I do remember that part. So, um, <laughs> that book, that, there, there's a stem on my back. It has something to do with a crow, to be exact. I'm just 
when you can recognize this symbol? Uh, as, as I take off my, the strip, my strip, cloak strip, and all, strip. <laughs> my, well, oh not take God. off, but reveal. Stop it, thirsty DM. I, as I lift up, as I lift my shirt to show the, show my back, it's, where it's tattooed, and shall I describe the symbol? Go for it. This is my yakuza tattoo. <laughs> It, it's a. The symbol is a, a crow mid flight carrying a scroll that's be, that looks like it's open and all that. Um. Jeremy looks at the symbol and back to his. Uh. Green book. I, get, I got these written down, I swear. <laughs> I would not be able to memorize them any, any other way. Jeremy, I will be kind to you because I will say for the sake of your backstory, you immediately recognize that symbol. You honestly don't even need to look into your green book. The okay. symbol of the carrier crow is the symbol of an organization that you have allied with in the past. Mm -hmm. Some of your dearest friends are actually from the carrier crows. Gotcha. Uh, and are they affiliated with the feeding hand at, 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 at all? They, you have never figured out if there's a correlation between the order of the feeding hand and the carrier crows. Do you want to roll to attempt? Sure, why not? Okay, roll me history. Can I, can I use my 25? <laughs> no, uh, you gotta roll again, sweetie. Uh, well, that's no fun. No barrel roll. No barrel roll. Well, god damn it, it's 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's so it again. He can't keep getting away with this. It's funnier the second time. <laughs> so when it comes to the order of the feeding hand and the carrier crows, you have heard stories of positive collaboration between the two of them. You've personally never seen members of each organization collabing within your own party, within your own presence, but you have heard each of them say good things of the other. And only good things? Yes. Okay. So C does part monk? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, no, just, you know, like, you know, they're fine, we trade with them a lot, but they're fucking assholes, I swear to God. <laughs> In oh. fact, actually, considering how well that you rolled, there is one legend regarding actually the founder of the Order of the Feeding of the Feeding Hand and the founder of the Carrier orc. Crows. And the founder of the Carrier Crows once having been enemies, but found collaboration and friendship to the point of death during a two legend, and it's never been confirmed if this legend is true or just folktale, during a time of conflict between the two organizations, the two founders were once enemies, but now had become brothers. However, due to the conflict between the two organizations, in order to quell the interest and quell the bloodlust <laughs> of their organizations, the founders had to fight to the death. And with that, no, no battle was truly won because both of them were of equal strength to where both of them died from each other's hand and both of their lives were, both of their souls were blessed by a crow that had landed on their bodies, on their battleground. And it was from their deaths that the orders began to collaborate once more and see the air of both of their ways. Gotcha. Um, looking at this symbol, 
um, Jeremy just brightens up slightly and uh, just goes, ah, hey, the carrier crows. And then goes back to his books. <laughs> I give all of that lore and you're like, oh, hey. Anyway. Well, yeah. He, he figures that there's <laughs> some collaborations, but they're not too connected in any way. And so just brushes it off. But, but this was the, apparently it was from my parents. Well, yeah, your parents in the carrier groups. Do you, <sighs> <sighs> Do you need a roll of thing? Do, do, Jeremy's you, kind of... do you need to roll a thing, Flarg? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Je Jeremy just points to some parts of the tattoo and just goes, look, look, see, uh, the writing on this scroll is actually very symbolic of the origins of it, uh, of the organization, and it's flying in a certain direction as a way to move forward past all transgressions. See, it's... <laughs> I, I find that ironically funny. Roll to not cry shit and piss yourself. Oh my in, god. Uh, in what way, Mogar? Please please enlighten us as to why oh, you were... No, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't say that. No, that, that, that no, was I, not I, in I character. Know. I, I know. I know. Yeah. Move past transgressions. Move <laughs> <laughs> It's what the I symbol really want means. To set, I really want to set you on fire, but I'd rather not to now. Oh my god. <laughs> Meanwhile, while all of this is going on and everybody's Listen, doing their conversation, Isari's just happily just sitting in this little corner, doodling away everything he sees on the pillar. <laughs> Do, do, no, does no, 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 no. the little birdie brain want to try and figure out what the symbols mean exactly and if there's any similar ones nearby? Or yes. call for Mr. White Code to, to see if he can do something? Other people have knowledge. I'm not the only knowledgeable <clears throat> one here. You're the one with four books in your fucking pocket. It's six. And and, and I'm the I'm, one I want nobody to ask me about. I, I want to say any similar symbols that are just like it's in my back or what that are on my back or whatnot. I'll let Kita go so that he has a little bit more to, to do. <laughs> okay, so Before I do my thing. Yeah. So Isari, I will say that you do see a parallel pillar. Do you want to go to it? Yes. Going over like the pillar. Going over to that because... pillar, you see similar signs of like feathers and the like, but you also see semblances of effectively a, like swirls, spirals. But also depictions of like arrows, bows, various forms of weaponry. Oh. Yeah, because he has his cartography tools, so he's just focusing. So he's going to copy all of the down before trying to piece it together because. Yeah. He oh, knows he doesn't that. know, but if he gets something wrong, it won't make sense. So he's just going to try and grab all the information. I first. do also want you to try and roll investigation super quick. I want to see how well your eye is. Okay, because at this point he just sidestepped with his back to song so he doesn't get blinded again. Yeah. <laughs> investigation, uh, you said? Yes, please. Rolls a not one. Please don't. No, I got a 12 this time. <laughs> okay. Roll. You got see scared. one set, one part of the pillar that looks faded, but there is... A, most of the shape seems mostly faded, which is interesting considering how can corrosion happen in a secluded area like this, but regardless. Ugh, nobody knows the science of, of corrosion <laughs> this day and age. <laughs> but... So, Song's just been spitting at it for thousands of years. So, <laughs> just, just, 
Uh, yes, or in Survivor. I hate silence. Fuck silence. He's such an <laughs> asshole. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the best thing that you can say this thing looks like is a rolled up scroll above a shirt. Aww. It's very scientific. Shirt. <laughs> very scientific. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not a tunic. It's not a sweater. It's a shirt. But it's not a coat. It's not scientific. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scroll. It's magic. But yet you see, oh my a, god. you see a symbol of a scroll above a shirt. <laughs> oh my god! Magic and science. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what is it to go? Wait, could it be magical underwear? <laughs> oh wait, no, it's a shirt. Don't give Mormons that idea. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> so, he, at this point though, when he does see that, he kind of wants to find out more about it because now he's curious. Like, he's, he's still copying it down, but he's also curious that it'll be like, hmm. He Funny. wants to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Before we go too far with that, let's circle back to Mogar. Oh, I was fine just uh, being a little shit in the background, but okay. <laughs> uh, so, so, I believe there could be salvation for you yet. But it would require something that I feel is not your nature. Would you be willing to hear? I would be willing to hear should your own voice have more oomph to it. <laughs> yeah. Get to the yeah, mic! Bogar. <laughs> you quiet orc! But... I was... As much as it may be against my own intuition, if it if it's better than me having to use the Ashen Call, I may take what I can get. What do you have to offer? A wise decision. Unfortunately for you, or fortunately in this case, silence is obsession over you might be a one-sided romance that you can use to your advantage. Go you on. see where I'm going with this? The fact that he has some kind of twisted affection for you could also relate to how you tried to gift him your precious light. But with twisted intentions, comes, I think a more manipulative fool. I would have you mm, pat him on the right side of the fur, suck up as much as you can, and convince him that you would not betray him. Affection, lie if you have to probably for the best, and once you can convince him to open a gateway, take your chance and leap. It's a possibility. You might not fall for it. And there's only one method. But beggars can't be choosers. Intuitive. Risk is necessary for any plan revolving around life and death. As much as I hate to admit it, your logic bears truth. Intuitive. Though I suggest that though I expect nothing less with someone of your age. You seem the most sagely out of this group. And I think it suits you well. Experience will do that. Indeed. It is as bare as the scars on my face. And 
the white of my hair. Indeed. It's as best of shot as I have. I'll take your idea. And I'll extend it to ensure that I will take you to where my domain resides, for it will then be easier for me to get you home. Not just you, Lord but your companions. The I wolf, the, the other companions a included, as she gestures to continue. you. There is something that could grant you a small benefit that I am willing to do for the success of this mission. He faces her full on, just squinting slightly at the blinding light, and leans down on one knee. I am willing to become one of your vessels, for I believe that those who believe in the guards empower them for that's being a... <laughs> I've oh. never been one for religion as much as before but this might prove to your benefit strong enough belief from me could give you slighter power. For the first time throughout all of your encounter with Son so far, while she is still strong in how she holds herself, you definitely see in her eyes she is taken aback. She is silent for a moment. But a smile comes up to her lips. You... Seldom do I hear one speak so strongly. And yet here you are. Quite the thinker you are. Are you sure this is something that you wish to do? willing you, to work with a god is a lot more of a commitment than people think. An embodiment of light and of positive things. I would have you I would rather have you return to a more welcoming place. For your influence is important to those who miss you. Light and dark seldom lie about their intentions, for they are as bare as the age I bear. Gods are embodiments of w their will and their purpose. I doubt you could hide that. Is Nor would I intend that silence to cannot you are right would, sorry go on would you allow this orc to help light return home I do indeed and you intend to continue light for not only yourselves but those that you hold dear whether it be those nuclear or to those outside however you feel it best light may reign again if but in a small form knowing that your source may the beginning may be the beginning of generations of expansion that may yet yield utopia Though Utopia may not be something that most people may achieve, that's not something that I exactly hold to, because Utopia may be just as maddening as Dystopia itself, regardless. You wish 
to keep music in your heart, even in the darkest of times? I am but a miserable creature that have done miserable things, distrusted by the people I have promised myself to not harm, but help. If I can bring light to my own heart, I can bring light to others trusted or not. I am willing to bring happiness to those who would accept me or not. For I wish to at the very least, at the end of my time, pass away knowing that I have left a more positive mark on my passing. So it is that that I promise to you, live with the light and the teachings that you might tell me henceforth. He, the orc, does not spare a word, does not hesitate. The orc's gaze is serious and stern. You see that the smile never leaves her face during all this. She is genuinely impressed. To the point to where you... There is almost an expected silence. Both you and her know what will be done. There is no going back from here. Happily, though still gently, almost choreographed, one of her hands comes up to your head, a thumb gently coming to the center of your forehead. You hear her almost whisper a song, soothing, almost like a lullaby. You feel a warmth well in yourself, slowly growing, almost encapsulating you, but not too warm. Like the warmth of a blanket to a newborn. Eventually it grows, feeling like it encapsulates almost becoming your entire body. While this happens, you see her brighten up a little bit more, but not enough to where the others need another con throw. <laughs> Good. But <laughs> eventually, it, apparently. as you feel as you feel whatever force this is within you soften, almost seem to well itself into almost like a ball in your presence. Her light comes down as well, much better controlled than before. As you now have gained one level in Cleric, my dude! <laughs> Screw all you guys, I'm level six, not you. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, how come he uh, formed with a god and got a level up? All I see is the like, I just see I, that meme of like, Screw you guys, I have money. Okay. Or screw the rules, I have money. <laughs> okay, but I, I have to ask, what domain is this? Domain? Oh, shit. This. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, now, I, I, listen. There are, there are, I give you good choices. There is the life domain, and then there is the light domain. Very possible. Yeah. So. This would be the easiest. Yeah. I would say for simplicity's sake, especially given the motifs I've been going, let's go light. All right. Let's uh, scub and go. <laughs> uh, I would like to approach Song here. 
<laughs> me too, bitch. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Lara was like, oh, wait, she gave it up. Let's see some favors. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold out. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's our time. <laughs> As she as she's bringing her hand away from you, Mogar, Son turns her head a little bit uh, towards Kita. And may I be of help to you? I may be a creature born of both light and darkness, but I've never strayed from the light. Oh, you bastard. Like... <laughs> hey, wait a minute, am, wait a minute. I, I am both, uh, I am both a demonic. Hey, uh, just a second. I'm sorry to ruin this for you, buddy old boy, but that fucking sounds like... Mm -mm, free power up. That was some Kingdom Hearts ass shit. <laughs> listen, listen here, buddy boy. You re retcon that. And make sure you make it look fucking accurate, okay? <laughs> you, you, smooth it out. You, you gotta, <sighs> listen, you gotta make it look natural. That did not sound natural. Uh, Storytelling. Oh I am trying! <laughs> you're, you're good, you're good, Flarg. Don't no, no, worry. No, he's just, he's messing with you, Flarg. We're, we're all Josh in here, but if you do want to ah. try and retry that, you can retry yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, one one story hook on that though is the slight glowing more, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if you're gonna look at her, you, you'd have to do you, a con. You're gonna have to do it. another saving throw, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna do another figure... saving throw. <laughs> to even <laughs> figure out what's going on. <laughs> Try, trying, trying to do, milady, you look ever so vibrant. Then just. I got a sixteen. Oh my, milady. Okay. I considering I had people failing if they were under a twelve last time. You're you're good. You're able to brave through how bright she is right now and really, really take in her form at this rate. Mm -mm. My lady. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> hey! 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 hey. My, la my lady. Song. I. Oh boy. Sorry. One sec. I, let, let me. I. I still need to. F <laughs> Song smiles. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But all of his laughing got me sidetracked. Oh, okay. Aww, she. Very sorry, sorry Flora. You see a very gentle motherly smile come from Song. No, I have no need for formalities. Call me what you wish, but right. don't feel that you have to force yourself. Call me what you wish, but don't call me mommy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh gods, it's... I know some people have a goddess king, but I didn't think goddess and milf would come together. <laughs> you made her... Dude, you made her a giant mm, woman who could shrink on command. <laughs> what did you expect? Death by snoo snoo? Death by yeah. snoo snoo death Do you want to be fucked by song and fucked to death? No, no, no. no I mean, is, hang on. This is a joke. First of all, whoa now. Whoa now. First of all, you'd be incinerated by the light coming from her before you get crushed. How about, why not both? <laughs> we haven't even gotten the silence. He horny. We haven't even got the silence, and we're already died. I am causing uh, a full party KO from Snoo Snoo. That's because you basically yeah. set it up for where shit would happen like this. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay, but I I have to say though this it's gonna be rad. Yeah. Okay, oh. you good, Flarg? You good? He just became a barbarian cleric, like. <laughs> no, no, no. A ranger a barbarian, barbarian cleric. Yes, yes, a ranger barbarian cleric. Triple class. Yeah, boy. God, motherfucking damn. 
<clears throat> Alrighty. Song. I. As you know. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I'm, I, I don't care, Dire Character. Don't, I am trying my best here. <laughs> don't worry. You're, this is, you're, you're good. I have to actually think. Fuck. G give me a couple seconds. Yeah. Because I still have to get all that shit out of my mind. Oh, Thank good. You, no. <laughs> all good. Do you want me to migrate to Isari and Jeremy while you figure out your words? Yes, please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. You're... No, fine. Isari, Jeremy, what are you two doing? I know, Isari, oh. you are scrawling away in regards to the symbols on a pillar. Yes. Oh, you are roboting, honey. Oh, am I? Y'all, y'all are no. roboting. Yeah, that's us. All right. Let me disconnect and come back in. Hold on. Hello. Meow. Meow, meow. Hello. Oh boy. Hello. Do I sound better yeah. now? Yeah. Yes. You sound fine, but am yeah. I okay? Like, okay, am yeah. I not you a robot? You sound better now. I think it was just something on Top Hat and I's internet send. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Well, I was trying to say, like, now that he's... Since he's been doing this in the background and he's pretty much finished, uh, he wants to try and see if he can figure out why there's, like, this corrosion and faded stuff on the wall. He's like, there shouldn't be any reason for it, but he wants to figure out, like, what it is. Like, maybe there's a source for it. Okay. Um, Considering you're trying to figure out, are you trying to figure out the corrosion, or are you figuring out what else specifically? He's. I want to figure out the corrosion first, and if I can't find the source, then then I could start looking at. All right, what does all this stuff mean? Okay. Since you're focusing on the corrosion, I will say roll me survival. Survival. <laughs> I don't like that last. Since, since you're trying to figure out why this wall looks so strange, survive. <laughs> <laughs> why are my rolls so bad? I got an 11. With your knowledge of like how time works on like rocks, you know that not only time, but also like water, things like that, like to eat away at rocks. This looks similar-ish. You can't exactly put your finger on it because, again, there's a the question, why does it look like this in a room where it's completely away from nature? Question. Oh. What's up, Jeremy? Is there a window somewhere here? No. Okay. There have been so, no windows in this area. There have been I no figured. windows in any of the rooms that you've been. I figured. So <gasps> the only source of light currently in the room. Uh, hold up just like, a sec. We got a raid. Hello, Mickey. Hey, music kid. Thank y'all for coming in. For those that don't know what we're doing around here, this is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything you would call a friend. I am a dream usher, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. We are doing some D&D with some friendos. Uh, we are in a bit of a titular part at the moment. Feel free to stick around. Um, otherwise, uh, interactions with the chat may be a little inactive at the moment, but hope you stick around. Yeah, no, no. Don't tell him to breathe. He's he's got his spiel to go on. If he breaks off of it, it's it's all downhill from there. Yeah, let me give you a shout out real quick though. Music, okay. <laughs> got a raid and got a raid and run because I hunger, but the kids will behave. I promise. All good. Take care of yourself. Music. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What was I gonna? What was I asking? Oh. I, I was going to ask. Uh, sorry, just because you threw me off, so my oh, brain went. What was I going to ask? Well, I think Jeremy was also going oh, to ask a thing. Yes, I remember. I remember. I remember. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, 
The only source of light in the room currently is coming from Song herself, correct? Yes. And we do not know, like, the party itself does not know at this moment in time how, like, how time works specifically here? Yes. It seems to be uh. linear, but... <laughs> Considering that uh, cheeky trigger warning down at the bottom. You know, who knows? Uh, okay, so Isari is going to make a note of that. Just the fact that, like, he doesn't understand. Because he's going to ask somebody, be it Song or somebody else. But he's going to ask. So he's going to make a note of what he's figured out and what, what he's seeing because he doesn't understand it. And now that he's gathered what he thinks is enough information, he wants to try and piece some of it together before he calls people over. Okay. So. Uh, this is is the... What's up, Doc Man? I add one level of cleric to my uh, automatic character sheet and it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have just been infused with a god, so it'll do that. Directly. Yeah. Yes, you You basically had spiritual snoo snoo. <laughs> Hell yeah. In like the most platonic of senses, too. Yes. Spiritual Hell snoo snoo yeah. for the orc. <laughs> All right, I the DM is clearly happy. abused. <laughs> uh, uh, Jeremy, but... were you were you were going to do a thing? No, I was test there any windows, and I was going to do a thing based on that. But otherwise, he's just jotting down the raven feather as well. Okay. But in, in much less detail to make mm -hmm. it go faster. I will note, considering, like, during the point to where um, Son's light had pulsed a little bit, you were able to see. You were able to see at least the bases of two other pillars on the opposite side of the room. Hmm. Oh. I am ready. <laughs> okay. My oh, okay. body is ready. Go for it. We will <laughs> okay, be silent. Let's, let's, let's let Flark go before, yeah, yeah, before okay. he yeah, forgets yeah. again. Song, we may have been sent to find and bring you to silence, but I know that you must be free. If we may have to fight, Sons, I shall bring out, out my a summon that I have sworn not to summon in a long time. Unless dire need. And that summon is is a bird known as a rock. <laughs> the last time I summoned it, it had tried to attack all. But I but I may but I now ask you though, Song, shall I be your warrior, fighting for you and everyone's freedom, fighting for the light away, away from the, fighting against the darkness. Oh, everyone's just proposing to, to the song now. It's adorable. Uh, okay, so I'm just... I, hey. Ogar, now this is Ken character, I'm sorry, but looks up to song with a smirk. She looks down uh, at Mogar for a moment, considering you haven't gotten back up from your knee yet. She gestures you to stand up before looking back at Kida. <laughs> I may take your offer, but I have a wager. As she gives a bit of a knowing smirk. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> she yes. looks between... Uh, wait, she... we got an ad break. Damn! Oh. <laughs> Oh, just Sorry, before I, I was getting into character. I, I forgot I was muted, or else I would have told you sooner. No, that break. 
I think Jer uh, not Jeremy. I think Kita's about to get a little bit more than he bargained for. <laughs> fight, fight him. If you win, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> Newly powered boss. Yeah. I just still Fuck found me. it so cute. He's like, hold up, she's giving up power upgrades over there. Hey, yo, song, hold up, I got talk to her. <laughs> hey, yo, bitch, I got hey, a question yo, for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, Flark, but it it, it you made it easy to bully. I guess <laughs> is that a way to say it peacefully? Uh, okay. Kira has been living a very sheltered life. The song looks at you. That looks at you, Kira, with a smirk. She looks back at you for a moment, Mogar. Looks back at. That looks at you for a final time, Kita. Yeah. Yes. As. As Similar I Similar to your unwanted companion here, there are some sacrifices that you may not expect. Moga, this one here, as she's respecting to not say your name, because also formalities have not been truly done. <coughs> While this one has given me his life all the same, he has sacrificed what he has known. And you must promise me to do the same. Rescind your hatred of the orcs. Starting <laughs> with him. Then we may begin. <sighs> I expected this. I should Did you? I actually expected <laughs> something like this. <sighs> I, I I I hope don't really hold much hatred towards the orcs. Mm -hmm. I just I just want want some orcs to just to be better. To better themselves. To, to help out more, to be exact. So I, I don't hate you, but forgive. also. <laughs> but I will forgive the I'm orcs. Need a moment. And I don't hate you, but here's some reasons why I do. <laughs> <laughs> but, now, but now I shall let go of the hatred. You would the do well to keep. You would do well to keep your word. And ensure I... that you, for lack of better phrasing, so forgive me if I am terse, not only must you rescind your hatred of the Oryx, so I understand that may be a daunting task considering it's what you've been raised with, but you must also combat the prejudices that you've been raised to hold. Your roots may not always be your ending. Your beginning is not destined to be your end so long as you hold to what you feel is right. Will you hold to yourself? Steadfast in what you feel is best, knowing that what you may feel is best may yield conflict. I'll do my absolute best song. And your best will be your greatest yet. You have yet to see what you will become. As she walks over to you and just for simplicity's sake does the whole song and dance of having a hand to your head, thumb to the center of your forehead, as pokey, pokey, and, turn around about. and you have now gained <laughs> for you my special boy I will have you instead be one level in warlock <laughs> what was that what was that <laughs> excuse me <laughs> gremlin uh 
Hey, Clark. Yeah? Been there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Warlock's not that bad. No, no, no. I mean, being bullied uh, over the table. <laughs> it's, don't worry. It's a learning experience. So now we go. Okay. For the otherworldly patron, which one do I choose? Otherworldly patron, remind me what is on the uh, what is on the list. I, There's celestial. The, uh, yeah, go, the, the, yeah, celestial. Yeah, celestial. Go celestial. All right. Oh boy, that is a. Oh hey, healing lights. I'm ready. I'm ready to heal her. So. Yeah, we got our oh. healer. Uh, yes. Sorry, but I'm also, listen, I would also be healing. Well, then well. we got two healers, just like how we have and, two rangers. And, and now <laughs> we're OP. Heals. We're low level OP. Yeah, low level OP. You think? You <laughs> just have a little bit of shit now. <laughs> All righty, Daddy. Kita, you thinking of anything right now? Uh, I, I don't. I only have one question. Song. Ask away. Give me and him just josh around, calling each other names just for jokes. Uh. Reword that. Jo give me, give me joke around with calling with. Of n calling each other names, but as a more jokeful way, more friendly. Bogar, Bogar looks at you, shaking his head. I'm sorry, kid, but you don't have to settle. Call it. You uh, need to get closer to your mic. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, you're... I'm sorry, kid, but you're going to have to make do with calling me Bogar now. Yeah. It's Kira. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Close enough. All right, Mogar. I understand the concern. But fortunately, there is choice on how you can call people. But there is also choice in respecting others. So you can joke, tease, prod, Nickname however you please, but within the confines of consent. Consent is important, even in religion. <laughs> <laughs> You're both vessels now, in a sense. Reciprocity. <laughs> Oh god, you sounded like Bendy. <laughs> you have to give a little generosity. That do 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 Isari still wants to figure out what these symbols are because now that he has all the information and stuff, he wants to try and like, you know, actually look into it more. Just the same way as he did with the corrosion. So right. I don't know what I would have to roll. So, if you're wanting to try and figure out what all of these symbols mean together, I yeah. will say, roll me Arcana. Arcana. Okay. Give me a moment to find that. Oh, there it is. Right there. Cool. What? <laughs> Rare. It rolls off. <clears throat> you cut off, so I didn't hear the number, love. Four. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. All the bad rolls tonight. Oh, no. Oh, four. Nope. Four star. No, don't, don't worry. I'll I'll give you a blessing when I can get this thing to work. <laughs> you oh. you try and look at all of the symbols from the two pillars that you've written down. 
The only thing that you can think of is both of them have feathers and your brain goes back to, ooh, precious item. I need to find precious item. So with that in mind, then since since he's doing that, and he he thinks getting into his precious item, he starts getting very happy and dancing before he calls everybody over to look at what he found. Book, book, book. No, no, no. Stair, stair, look. Song kind of smiles, looking at uh, you, looking at Akita and Mogar. Tend to your friend. See what he's found. And hear you, Song. What's about to happen? You'll have my support. Nothing that I think you can't handle. Nothing that I know you can't handle, rather. But that is for you to decide. We will escape together, or none at all. Indeed. Now tend to your friend. He may have found something useful. What is it, small bird? Clue, precious item. Feathers, feathers all around. Clue to precious item. Look, and he like excitedly like dances and mm. shows them the notebooks. Symbols, symbols, symbols. I don't understand why they look weird, but symbols. A, what he says, he doesn't know why they look weird. He's trying to point out the corrosion of it. <laughs> Help find precious item? Yes. Feathers, yes. Are any of y'all wanting to look at the symbols? I I would like to look at the symbols. I would uh, just gl- glare his over it just a bit. For I'm not too much big on lecture. Yeah. For those that want to look at the symbols specifically to try and discern what they are, you can either roll me. I will say. History or Arcana? Well, both are, are the same for me, so... I'm sorry, what, what, what did you, you want you can roll? roll? You can roll either I History can, or uh, Arcana. Oh, god dang. Uh, okay. Oh, fudge. Oh, uh, I got... my character sheet is very... Uh, your, your character sheet broken okay. right now. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Okay. L- I got it. Uh, so Arcana 14. or history, or Arcana. right? Yeah. Arcana or history. What was your number, Kita? One. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. I'll wait until oh, hey. Mogar. Uh, where's, where's my history? Oh, okay. So that's a zero. So 16. 16? Okay. Why is everyone getting better than me? <laughs> oh, poor star. Okay, I tried the, tried the one, two, three, four method. That's how that's how I do. I roll it in my hand four times. Or, you know, the number of times is luckiest for you. You gotta have a rhythm. Yeah. Consistency. I'm just using the electronic one. <laughs> oh, electronic. No, the electronic, the electronic is devil. Yeah, but the electronic ones hate you. The only one that ha- that has had good luck with electronic dice this go around that I know of is Top Hat. Yeah. yeah Cause I was eh. doing well last time, but this time it's like no, I'm getting yeah. all the bad rolls. But for Electro- electronic dice is unreliable. Yeah, but Kita Mogar, uh. I will say for you two, regarding discerning the symbols. You both definitely notice that there are similarities between the two. Namely, obviously, like the the feather motif. From one, there's obviously the aspects of like hunting, but from the other, there seems more aspects of knowledge. But eventually, you see that the same corroded symbol on one of this kind of shirt-like blob with a with a rolled-up scroll above it 
is on the other pillar as well, but the bottom symbol less corroded. I would need another roll from one of you, or both of you, to try and discern what that bottom symbol is. So, who who, who here is... So, who's working together? Me and Gita? Yes. This yep. is hilarious. Well, <laughs> but work we're going to have to put... We're going to have to put our heads together. So, yeah. let's see. And I, I would say... Wh what's your history, and what's your... Uh, like... Which, it was was it was Arcana? And yes, history, history or Arcana. Do you want me to have advantage or do you want advantage? Because I have zero in both. I got plus two in both. Okay, then I give you advantage because I'm helping you. Ooh, I'm not rolling, all right. so roll twice. All right, all right. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the highest 14 and oh that's a six so four. that'll be pretty much 16 well hey wait decent enough yeah yep so it, it's actually also better for kita to have done it so kita you recognize that there's a few parts on the other pillar that are less corroded than the other symbol so you're able to discern what seems to be like a bird's tail remnants of feathers on one side Ooh. but then it clicks with the same scroll at the top no this is the same symbol that no way no, uh. This is indeed the same symbol of the carrier crows, the symbol of your family on your back. That's that's my family symbol up there. Guys, that's my family symbol up there. Mogar. Do I, reckon, do I recognize it from my uh, plundering days? <laughs> You do not. Life hope guy. I think, I, I think that's better. <laughs> better Jeremy, you're being called. I sure am. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he was dazing off into his books and <laughs> such. <But>, um. <clears throat> My family symbol, which you called the carrier's gross up there. Oh, yeah. That is weird. Huh. <sighs> and he goes back to his books with a more stern I and what studious this, look. I wonder what this could mean. With my family symbol being up there. It means, as Song interjects, that there are more connections between you all than you expect. Oh, oh, oh. there we are. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I realized I was saying something, but I wasn't being heard. Oh, dear. Oh, no. What Whoops. were you trying to say, Star? I, I was trying to say that Isari was just, um, Isari notices the stern look and he gets a little confused. So he just kind of like, he's not trying to be a pest. He's not trying to be anything. He's just kind of curious. And like, um, pokes at, his, at, at Jeremy and is like, trying to figure it out. So he just goes, human no, human understand, human recognize rather, yes? To a degree, yes, but it, it's a, it's not a stable connection at all. They're at best passing allies. Why are they both here? A convergence. Hmm? Yeah? I'm sure your friend here knows exactly what I mean by a convergence. Yeah, but... 
you, you would think if there was a convergence, there'd be uh, evidence of the other in other places, but it they're separate. So you think. Look again. There are more histories here than just those two. All right. Well, he starts to look around the room. All right. There are still the other two pillars. Are you wanting to go to those? Sure. Okay. Are you wanting to investigate? Absolutely. Well, then roll me investigation, my boy. Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank God for my uh, bonus. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. Mm. So on one of the other pillars, you see a similar motif of hunting weaponry and things of that nature, similar to one of the others uh, from from the two that have recently been deciphered. On like the, the other... The two to the three of the four of the... You see Sorry. symbols... You, you see symbols that only you would recognize. Symbols in regards to your heritage and your own connections. But some still seeming to transcend your own history. Symbols of feathers, of horns, of blades. You want to try and roll again, buddy? Hmm. Another investigation? Yes. It, okay. Uh, it, it teetered on a one, and then it flipped over to... Uh, okay. Uh, 23. Oh my god. You... Especially starting to look back at all of the symbols and everything that you have been logging in all of your books during all of this no, no, in my in my green book yes fine <laughs> mm. there the song is definitely not lying that there are many more connections than you expect then it hits you each of these pillars represents one of you in this room well that he deciphered from the first two, pointing both to uh, Isari and Bogar. Or uh, Isari and... Um, Kita? Kita, that's one. But then uh, you also notice that they seem to go in a... Uh, to go in a pattern. And since I know you live IRL with me, why don't you come into my office and see this? Well, maybe I will. <laughs> All right, I say nothing. You say nothing. Breaking but... bones. <laughs> Just start creaking bones. I know it's chicken scratch. Let, let me read. I know it's chicken scratch. See, now you got one knowledge keeper over here that you can poke and prod. Don't worry, I'm not gonna So, how are you all doing? <laughs> it's sorry, is happy and confused. But also just kind of happy because he feels like he's contributing. No, he's just delighted because he's like, I found something important. I must share with my friends. <laughs> uh, is there anything interesting said while I was gone? Apparently not. Sorry, he's delighted. Nope. Right, fair enough. <laughs> well, outside um, outside of happy burb. Yes, he's uh, happy. He feels like he helped. <laughs> Uh, as uh, Jeremy goes between his red book, his green book, and his black book. Well, no, just just his red, red and green book. 
Um, <laughs> um, he just starts to furiously write in his uh, red notebook and just the, the worst chicken scratch of, of imaginable. Um, uh, Road, I'm sure you can uh, replicate Jeremy's type of chicken scratch oh, if you'd I... like to. <laughs> <laughs> you set this up for yourself. I that Yeah, I kind of did. Um, and as he finishes up his drawing, um, he sort of stands up and in the process drops his red notebook onto the ground, conveniently flipped open to his most recent drawing, in case anyone would like to take a look at such. And Sorry. just sort of, not a stare, not a glare, not in any sort of accusatory way, just kind of looks at Song and just goes, I am not supposed to be a part of any prophecy. That was promised to me. And yet some things cannot be set in stone. Oh, I can tell you a whole many things that are set in stone. I've got a whole room back home full of things set in stone. Human in stone? Humans live in stone? No, 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 no. There, there's actual stone. actual writings in stone <laughs> made by beings of stone. It's anyways, I have a contract when I joined. I'm not supposed to be part of any prophecy. Yet you, you mean... understand now that just because you have a contract with one order does not mean that it is respected by another. Yeah, I'm going to be talking with that order when I get back. And what order you would that be, my good man? Oh, don't worry. You will see in the papers. <laughs> you and Strange look in human book. Asari basically well, is like trying to like peek I've over to see what's in the book that's all. Uh, I, I would say because uh, Jeremy is distracted having this conversation with Song... Uh, if you want to roll anything, I'd say uh, investigation or stealth, dealer's choice. And I will say, I'm considering sorry. Jeremy is a bit dumbfounded right now, as DM, you get advantage. Yay! Okay, so well, stealth is stealth is higher, so I'm gonna I'll pray to the dice gods. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Because of that incredible role, I'll say that you not only see the drawing, but are able to flip through any of, uh, let's say, three pages of notes. Oh, so and you're welcome it's already... to it. So it's already basically like... And as DM, I will say everything. that the main info comes from what I am sending you in DMs. Okay. So I'll just describe how he basically gets the book. Yeah. So since he's kind of taking advantage of the fact that everybody's focused on song and Jeremy's interaction, that he kind of just like slowly slinks down to sit and then like starts scooting closer to the book, snags it with one of his little like talons and pulls it towards him <laughs> yeah oh fuck we got ads Ooh, going yeah, all, right. Uh, all right while uh, the ads are going um you can obviously see the drawing that road's gonna send you in dms um e. but as for the notes uh just either tell it to me outright or through dms um where exactly in the book you flip to such as the beginning of the book the ending of the book <laughs> Anywhere in the middle, so on and so forth. Uh, I'll be right back. I, I, this is perfect time. I can now go to the bathroom. That is true. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, if, if we need, like, a quick minute potty break, we can do that. Yeah. That sounds like people might need yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just... Honestly, I, I went while y'all were talking. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, yeah, I mean, just... that's the way to do it. <laughs> but yeah, you've got free reign of three pages, if you'd like. Hey. Up, up to. The, the crow is living up to his little thief nature, and it's just like... <laughs> mm. yeah. So I, I'm, I'm reading it, and I'm trying to like remember it so I can look at it, but also not say it out loud, as I have to yeah. really think don't be. Do you need to mute, sweetheart? Yes, hold on. <laughs> so, Dogman, what have you been thinking? Ah, uh, okay. So, I've actually fixed my issue by changing the sort of format I'm using. Noise? Uh, yep, 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 yep. So, all I have to do now is basically recollect what I have in one page. Yeah. The other. Noise. It's going to be a bit of, of work, but it's something I can do. I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah. It's kind of the point. Okay, so. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just like... <laughs> Star, you sound giddy as hell and it's adorable. <laughs> All night I've been blinded. I ran into a pole in the most comedic fashion and almost broke my feet. Oh, I, I, I'm back. Welcome I've back. I've been failed my rolls. I could too much read horrible. my own writing and I finally what? got one thing. <laughs> Well, t to be fair, if you hadn't ran into the pole, you might not have gotten this opportunity. This yeah. is true, but Butterfly also, effect. I broke... Yes, but I almost broke my beak. <laughs> <laughs> the luck of the birds. And Kina was just staring at me while the, the other two animals in the room were just going, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I was like, I, they're not, I, I was, I was about to... About to come. I was wondering if you got hurt or not because I was about ready right to heal you if you got hurt. <laughs> Only my pride. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! the funny bird got one thing today. Funny bird. <laughs> yes. Poor bird. He's my baby. Okay. Uh, as far as the three pages. I'll, I'll say that out loud. Like, I want to let's see. I, I think I'll have him read the beginning of the book, the middle, and the last, just so he kind of covers a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, so, the beginning, part of the middle, and what else did you say? The end. The last. The and, end. And yeah, he's reading bits and pieces of what he can as quick as he can without being yeah. noticed. Well, the, the the very last page is, of course, the drawing, but I assume. You mean the uh, uh, entry just before that? Yeah. Yeah. And I will... <laughs> round. I will send you some excerpts in the next few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that reminded me of something. What, the, what did that remind me of? See, it's now, while you are doing this, Jeremy, has, has Jeremy still not noticed that his book is on the floor? No. Uh, he He's in a tizzy of uh, I'm gonna sue you uh, and everyone else I've <laughs> ever been in contact with. God. I'm, God, I'm gonna hey, sue you. For, for all you know, he has sued a God. <laughs> well, Listen, interactions dude, with God I can, rel I can God relate and... so bad to your character with another character of mine. Like, I'm about to do the same with Lier, okay? On <laughs> another campaign. The, the thing that comes into my mind is like, I'm about to sue your ass into the ground. He's Why so can I see now light. Jeremy in like a fucking Miles Edgeworth fucking oh, kind of attire? Okay. Like, okay. Jer like oh, Jeremy why? Riggs, why? Cosmic, cosmic Prosecutor. Objection! Why? Why? <laughs> 
Oh my god. Why is, he, why is he Edgeworth? <laughs> because you like fool. the cravat! Cravats are sexy! Uh, oh my god. You... Oh, for you see right, I have the updated Bible. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Were you not aware that there was a sequel to the Bible? It's the Bible 2! <laughs> Electric Boogaloo! I pre-ordered... I pre-ordered my copy. Where's yours? <laughs> my pre-ordered copy was signed. <laughs> Objection! Analyze that handwriting, and you'll see that it's not... The actual author. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> By the way, the, um, to kind of read it, since he's like, since Isari's kind of like sitting on the ground and he uses talent to snag it, he's like, he moved it to where it's partially hidden behind, like like his pant leg and stuff, but where it's still enough in the light where he can actually like read what he's about yeah. to read. No, I get you. E. Okay. Team Fluffbird. Um, Wearing Fluffbird clothes. Side. Mogar? Now I. Yeah. Okay, on the technical side, I'm all set and dandy right now. Let go. Yay! You fixed it? Uh, pretty much, my guy. Noise. <laughs> Nice. All right. While Isari is just going ham on this book, Kita, Mogar, what are you two doing? Uh, well. <clears throat> okay, so. I. Uh, so, Jeremy and. Uh, okay, who's busy? Who's busy right now? Isari. Is, Isari, is yes. Yeah. Isari is busy yeah. uh, with the book. Um, okay. Jeremy, Jeremy is, is busy. pulling a Karen a song. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, not not exactly uh, complaining to song, but knowing that song knows a bit more about this world than the rest, to kind of being like, "Are you seeing this shit?" <laughs> Listen, my guy. You have to at least consider that right now. Want to fucking get out of here? You're gonna have to work with this. Just for now. Ever thought that maybe a prophecy is only a prophecy until it's fulfilled? Then everything after it, blank. Are you Just, talking as Mogar? I'm talking as Mogar. Oh, you didn't use your <laughs> to Mogar Jeremy. voice. No, he's oh, been sorry. using the Mogar voice, just yeah. not as just not as now, deep. Yeah. White coat. I have to tell you that you're going to have to pass through this type of way. You still need to find a way to all escape. So don't worry too much about prophecies and such. Right now, we're just trying to escape. And I'm gonna have your help. Cedar's help. And Isari's help. But, uh, I'm gonna need Isari to be out of the book first. <laughs> you be willing to help? He looks like he's about to puff up and give another argument, but just loses all the breath in his lungs and just shrugs, saying the whole world's been flipped upside down today and you can kind of hear a disdain in his voice when he says the word world and just shrugs and says Let's get out of here quick. And whatever path is the quickest, I'm all for it. He nods. Well, first things first. We're gonna have to confront. 
from the silence when I look back to song. But we, we've got to be prepared. So one last rest is going to be in order. Be able to sustain that song. I am more than willing. All right. <sighs> well, for now we rest. And once our minds are set, we'll be in order. Make our. Sorry. He looks up really you, quick and keeps trying to look at him. Are you right? If you need help with anything, it would be best to do it now, since we're going to all rest. Since we are full capacity at being um, protected, we can all rest the same. Since he's kind of, since he's sitting on the ground right now and he's trying not to be like suspicious, he just looks up at um, Mulgar and starts like kicking his feet back and forth. And he goes, That's good. Talk, friends. Read more book? Find more out. Yes. Uh, Precious okay. item's still here! <laughs> yeah. So I, I just finished up uh, that little thing there. Did Jeremy not hear the words uh, of read I, more book? Again, give me a second. I'm also looking at other things. The words of the mighty Jim. Uh, <laughs> that says the Bibble. Um, the Bibble. <laughs> the Bibble. I was gonna go the for Bible. it. Uh, so yeah, feel free to read all that that I've given you. Um, but <laughs> as as Jeremy hears the word book, you can like hear an audible neck snap as his eyes lock <laughs> onto you and <laughs> lunges towards Isari to grab the book. And then Isari says he sees that, he kind of panics, and he, he tries to do like a switch because he had his notebook. Both of you roll opposed to athletics. Athletics? Oh, okay. Because yeah, he's just trying to basically like oh, wait, switch no. the book so he makes it look like his book. Yeah, okay, you know what? Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, cool. roll athletics. Isari, roll dex. Yeah, uh, okay, dex. Give, me, okay. give me one second or six, six, ten six. seconds to be fair. <laughs> also, Hun, I am tempted to <laughs> 23! handicap. 23! No! <laughs> <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> Get screwed. So we, le so we learned dog. how Isari rolls good. Put burbing panic. <laughs> Yes, yes, the panic uh, can cover his truck. <laughs> oh, did I? Hang on. Also, Han, you don't know how tempted I am to handicap you by giving you a physical dice set. Oh, I'm sure. Um, give me just <laughs> one second. I just I need to uh... run. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's, no, no. There, there's another thing. I just I just need to make sure that things happened correctly. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, uh, I'm sorry. What am I rolling? You are rolling athletics. Athletics. Uh, it's a 19. <laughs> <laughs> but Isari rolled a 23! Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Which means that the burb is getting away and is scrambling away with your book. <laughs> yes. But while uh, he's doing that, he's trying to basically... So basically, he's running away and using the darkness as cover a little bit, but he's also swapping the book so that if he does catch him, <laughs> he'll he'll see his notebook. Like, just, Isari's notebook and not his notebook. <laughs> just, just doing a, 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 a shell cup. It, yep. It, it, it <laughs> pretty much, he's like, if I'm going to get caught, I'm going to make... I'm going to cover up my tracks here. <laughs> Jeremy, are you going to try and grab the book again? He absolutely is. He Roll makes a me lunge athletics. <laughs> hey, sorry, are you trying to get away again? Wait. Uh, he Who owns that the, book? Let's see. It's so, so sorry has Jeremy's book, but Isari also has his own book that he's been writing his own notes. 
Yeah, which is the one that he showed everybody else to look at. So, when he ran away the first time, he essentially basically, like, he kind of drunken danced his way away. <laughs> the Jack Sparrow run. <laughs> yes, pretty much. He was doing that, but so he was keeping, Jer it's kind of like he was trying to keep Jeremy distracted with the movement of his runs while swapping the books. And what he's trying to do is put Jeremy's book back without Jeremy noticing. He's trying to do that. Hey, Mogo, you got any popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he shakes his head and then just goes in and tries to grab both of them so they don't hit each other. Ah. One. Yeah, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Help, Bert! Help, Zuri! Uh, stop running! No! And talk. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and attempt to grab, uh, Jeremy first, since he seems the most aggro. Hold up. Well, first of all, I rolled a 13 on athletics. You're, you're just to shout out some numbers here. Okay, do you really want to play athletics game with an orc? I'm just <laughs> saying. Okay. You, know, you, you, you could roll a natural one. That's all I'm saying. Oh my, no, no. Last time you did that, I actually ended up rolling it, and we had a rule about that. <laughs> we had a rule. Do you remember the rule? Oh yes, I, I do. do indeed. I do. I do too. I was just like this. Yes, I'll catch. Do you want to help me uh, with the situation? I will. I'll. I'll catch. Wait, wait. I'll... You said you will help, right? Yes, wait, wait, I will. Catch. Well, hang on. Well, no, no, no hang on. Okay. <laughs> You don't have I'll any help. I'll catch the bird. Well, and no, no, no. Listen, listen. You're gonna, bird. you're gonna help me uh, make sure Jeremy's uh, z z z is stationary, right? Wink, wink. Snudge, well, nudge. Come on. Well, no, hang on. I, <laughs> I feel like this is animal handling. <laughs> Wait, no, no. So, are you saying you're gonna do the help action? Yeah. Okay. Good, because I had a four. So re-rolling for the. <laughs> oh my god. Wink, wink, nudge, well, nudge. Hang oh, on, I, I don't think that's... So what, what was your roll? What did you roll, boy? Well, I rolled a 13 and you rolled a 4, so they're 4. Wait, wait, no, 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 I didn't roll a 4. That's what was without the bonus. Now, for the <laughs> advantage that I have been given, and with my plus 7 in athletics... Well, hang uh, on. That, that's a 16, boyo. <laughs> I'm letting this happen. I'm letting well, this happen. Well, hang on. <laughs> what you've basically done is that you started the, the grab as Jeremy is flying through the air, Notice that you're going to miss. Stopped time. Looked <laughs> over. DM. D am I bound by the rules of time for this once? I said I'm letting this happen. <laughs> DM, 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 DM is letting this play you, out. You stopped time, looked over at Kita, and said, wink, wink. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, so, I help out. so I suppose mid lunch, Jeremy is grabbed at by Bogar. Yes. And you just kind of have him in, uh, just by his lab coat. Like, no, no, like how you hold a kid under your arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm saying no. that's how you. I'm saying that's how you catch him, and then yeah, okay, fair enough. Do otherwise, is... and I'm gonna tell tell uh, Kita. All right, now we get sorry. Or, no, 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 are you going, or are you going to come here yourself? Sorry. Uh, this hard peacefully. Human, hu human still human no hurt. Yes, I'm not going no to hurt, hurt you. I just I need that book that it. I, I, I cannot do you, do you have you need having it? it. Do you need it, or is it yours? It's mine, and I need it. All right. So, Isari, you, Isari's basically, back. like, shuffling over with his notebook in his hand, you, and he you, holds it up. Notebook? You can hear this book? The 
you can hear the desperation in his voice as if you've just taken his firstborn. <laughs> Sorry, please. Out of respect, give him back his book. You can work out if you found any details that you find afterwards. No, 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 no. You will find no details. You have Listen. not read that book. That book no. is to not be read. So, uh, sorry, Jeremy, why is going that? To, like... Jeremy, at the very least. <laughs> White coat, please. <laughs> there you go. Be, be reasonable. Make yourself look at the very least a little bit more friendly on this. I am being reasonable. This is me being reasonable. Antic. Sorry, here, please. I, so, I put my other hand forward, like, looking expectantly. Okay, so Isari is trying to figure it out, because he, he doesn't want to upset Jeremy, but at the same time, he's like, oh god, I'm gonna get clobbered here. Uh, so, <laughs> You're so, gonna upset Mogar. Wait, first of all, yeah. Star, ha have you read the excerpts that I give you? I have, yes. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. But he's not going to let it be known that he's read it. That's fair. Yeah. Just, so just it, just in case, in you reading those influences your decision at all, just making sure that's yeah. on the table. Yeah, I know. That's that's why he's not saying that he's read it. He's going to like make sure. It, that's why he did the sleight of hand to show which one he had was reading. Right. So like he's gonna show Mogar's like this book is the one that I was reading. Is this the one that you're talking about that I found? So he's gonna play innocent. Is basically what he's doing. Mm. But. Uh, Wait, but yeah, so he, he goes to give Fogar his notebook first, J and he goes, J this book, read this book, this book I was reading, my book. Just for sake of conversation, what color is that book? My book? Yes. Uh, sick, my, my notebook, I'll say it's purple, so it's a different color from all yours. Yeah, so as you say that, that's the book that you read. Jeremy's face just kind of contorts, not so much into a grimace, but in a don't lie to me kind of way. Uh, I, I pass the book to Jeremy, hold this. And then I put <laughs> my hand back. Now, give me the actual book. So Isari takes it out from like his pack, he goes, not red, not red, red, not red book, found book, not red book, read my book. And he gives it to Mogar and then hides behind him. All right. <laughs> you get kicked by, by uh, I, I, was about to say, I was about to say, you hide behind him in perfect <laughs> kicking range. <laughs> because I'm holding him like a kid, you know, just like under the arm. Oh, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, I'm Jeremy. I'm going to put you down. I'm sorry to God that, damn it. Ah, <laughs> it's, I, I've had my brain siphoned this, this past uh, minutes. Okay, white coat, I'm going to put you down. All right? Don't yeah. go crazy. Yes, 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 fine. Just look, 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 look okay. down, please. I'm giving, <laughs> I'm giving you the book, and, and I was like, and then I'm, I'm looking to his sorry. Okay. Now, White Coat, give back his sorry's book. Before doing that, he takes the book, frantically flips through it, seeing if there's any marks of f fingerprints on the pages or oil. Residue? Yeah, just, just signs that the book has been read. Um. Wait. I think that's an investigation. Yeah. Yeah, I was I think that is an yeah. investigation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Get, get in that one, I dare you. Oh Although, my god, you got a 15. Guess what, bitch? It was a 5, therefore it's a 15. <laughs> Alright. Nice. <laughs> well, this is more of a question for Isari. Considering you were messing yeah. with the book. Yeah. What were you looking for again, Jeremy? Uh, any signs of the book being read, such as uh, folded pages or fingerprints on the pages. Or in this case, feather prints. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Or, or I guess talon holes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say it talon holes. Well, because I was going to say, since he is a crow, he was trying to be very careful not to leave anything behind, especially because right. he knows where he is, is very uh, observant. Yeah. So he was kind of like, <sighs> I'm trying to think of the action. Like, I'm, I'm doing it, but I don't know how to describe it. Hold like on. a pinch? Kind of like he was like, he was using, using the claw like tip his to flip. The claw. Yes. He was using the claw tip to like catch it on his thing and then flip it over without disturbing the pages. Is what he was trying to do. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I I know what you mean by that. Yes, thank you. I was trying. I was like, how the fuck do I describe what I was doing? Yeah. Uh, after making sure that it's not been touched, he breathes a sigh of relief, opens up his uh, coat again firmly places the red notebook along with its five brothers and <laughs> uh, and holds his hand to the pocket for a second and a blue flash flashes over the book before disappearing and then he closes it back up again. <laughs> mm. Alright, for the... Don't, don't, don't do that again. And for the sake of time, because we only have like a half hour left before the end of stream. Forgot to give back their book. Uh, oh, oh yeah, and he picks up yeah. a purple notebook and just tosses it to his sorry. <laughs> for the oh, sake of time, on. I will say real quick that you guys were like just revamp, like update your character sheets for for a long rest. Let me know when y'all yep. got that figured All out. Good. Although I don't uh, think I did go. much, considering I just did a long rest, according to. <laughs> All right. For me to... There we go. Sorry, everyone was supposed to didn't mm. come back for oh, some okay. reason. Oh, okay. good. So, yes, road. Okay. So, I will say, considering y'all have just finished up your rest, there, as you wake up, you do see like Son is awake, and you, you can easily discern that she's a deity. She probably doesn't need to give a shit about the concept of sleep, but. As you wake up, there is definitely a sense of oh, tension. As um, oh, as boy. you guys wake up, you know that this is a moment that you have been waiting for, but also been dreading all the same. As yeah. Son doesn't even have to speak to you for you all to know that she is going to break the seal that has been keeping you all hidden. And with that, obviously means that you all have to prepare to encounter silence once more. Yay. Yes. Hooray. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Yippee. Any last words before I break the veil? Oh. Stay safe, night lady. I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look back. Uh, let's see. You're cutting out again. Uh, You're gonna have to get close to your mic. I am looking back towards all of you, and I am saying, whatever happens, act surprised. Yeah, I'm sure I could do that. <clears throat> Not you, Alrighty. Son. You know what you have to do. That I do. Oh, boy. And for the sake of so, safety, so, so. I will keep it to myself, and you will keep it to yourself until the moment is right. Yes. Oh, 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 good. So, 
first of all, we shouldn't be keeping secrets, and now we are keeping secrets. I see. This is no secrets. This is tact. I would figure, uh, uh, given your experience, you would know the difference. You know, these days, there really isn't a difference. When I give the signal, you make the run for it in the appropriate direction. I, I look at, at the group, and, um... Dog for it's day? You will, you will all know when the time to act is. My duty will be to song. So is Sita. We'll just see what we can do now. Let's put on our acting faces. Ooh, gotta remember the lessons. Be sorry, protect friend. Okay, I'm ready. Ready. Psalm looks at Jeremy. I understand your discontent. Yet all the same. An existence of for a mortal and a deity alike can bring circumstances we least expect. You would do well to hold to what you know of your youth. And hold steadfast to what you hold true. Instead of living in fear. Holding to your fear more than anything else will give silence the door that he needs. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand anything anymore, but good. I will do my best. It's good to question everything. As she, with a flourish, brings a hand up over her head, snaps her fingers, and then silence. The domain and the name of the man himself that you have been brought to a most ill-fated company. The air is still. You feel your heart in your chest. The beats resonating in your heads almost stronger than during the deepest moments of terror that you have ever felt in your lives. There is darkness with Song still near you and yet with her veil broken while an entryway you feel exists as a draft wanders through the presence of the one that some of you have now been sworn to ward becomes ever more apparent. My song. How gracious of you to break your farce. Put yourself in quite an entrapment. So I could only presume. 
And I see you found the ones that I had requested to seek you. So it seems that their jobs are done. Theirs may be, but I understand with their presence that there is a job that I have that I may have never been allowed to separate myself from. You all see Song walk her way closer to an ever-enshrouding curtain of black. As you hear this voice once again resound, and what would that be? One that I had made my brand so far long ago. And I will hold to it once more. Should you let them free. You said yourself, they did what you told them to do. Their job is done. Let them go. <laughs> you think me a fool. Song, I expected better of you. Don't think me so stupid that I could not have expected you to have twisted such lovely fantasies into their most longing ears. Mortality is a scourge, as you know it. Why not give them the release that you know I can bring? If you continue to be so persistent, I doubt your own voice may be able to hold much longer. Oh. And what makes you say that? Song holds a hand up for a moment. Fingers flared out as a bubble comes from her hand. The wyvern that you four saw before, now fully healed, comes from the bubble, morphing, growing to its normal size. You expect that to intimidate me? No. But this will. As she points behind her to you four. I am giving you an attack of opportunity. Yeah, baby. All I right. Who Always is good. going first? Afterward, we will roll initiative. Toodaloo. Hello. I, I, I do not. I would mind like to summon. First. Okay, first you off. Know how dog man's like, toodaloo. <laughs> Mogar, I'm letting you go, then Kida, then for simplicity's sake, I will go Jeremy, then he's sorry. Mogar, what's up? Now then, there's only one thing I can do. 
and I believe that it is a Slayer's Prey and oh. Hunter's Mark once again. Okay. You know the drill. It's the good shit. Yep. The fancy topping. It's the one where I do massive fucking slobbering a damage. <laughs> And it's the one I forgot the fucking dice roll for. Oh no! Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay, so damn. So uh, all that just comes to a screeching halt. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> okay. There's that one. That's another DSC box. And how how far is is uh, silence? Um, physical body not even all that far at this point at the most I would say 60 okay so close for so, most of anything okay so fun 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 uh, thing uh, second oh it's good Oh, you. Um, uh. Where's the. Do you not get to do your oh. damage? No, that's not it. Don't worry. Wait, about where's it. your stuff, buddy? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's blah, 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 blah. Huh. Okay, well, that's. That's interesting. Uh oh. Okay, so. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it still works. Still works. So, I, I, although there is one little thing I did wrong. Oh, okay. Yes, I could only have one bonus action at a time. Okay, no. so which one are you so, prioritizing? So, I am going to have a slay. Uh, no, no, ah, you know what, Hunter's Mark. All right, Hunter's you're keeping Mark Hunter's Mark. It. Yeah, on him. And I could only do them one at a time, so set up. Yes. I'm going to rush headlong towards silence. And, you know, I can run pretty dang fast. Yeah. So just imagine this orc speeding 60 feet in, within six, six minutes. Well, within six seconds. Just fucking new. Yeah. Pretty much. J jumping over. This is going to hurt, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm going to commit a slashing to his, I'm assuming, ginormous toe. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to flip his nail. Okay. <laughs> his nail. Oh, God. I'm going to. I'm gonna put my battle axe between his nail and his toe. Enough. Oh. All good. We get it. <laughs> yes. And if I remember correctly, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, my dueling feet plus two damage roll when wielding a melee weapon in one hand. Okay. So da 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 da. Uh. Yes. 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 Where's my brain right now? Where's my brain? <laughs> Have you checked your bunk? Oh my Still god. Up. Hey now. Hey now, that's not jolly. <laughs> okay. Where's my... oh, I fucking hate this. You know what when, when you didn't expect your dice to actually be useful? <laughs> somehow. Okay, so to hit. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey! I think that's a 26. That definitely hits. Okay. Now that's... Okay, that's pretty good. That's a 12 plus 6. That's 18 damage of slashing. 
Ooh, 18 slashing damage. Noise. Yeah, imagine on the next uh, smack. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> and. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. I believe that is all I can do for now. Noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're liking the music. All right. <clears throat> All right. Kita, what do we got? Oh. I shall summon the beast, the rock. The beast. Get I take. Fuck. <laughs> I take. I take out. I I take out the one feather that I got from Sweetie Pie, and a gold a gilded acorn. And I summon the bee. I summon. And the ri the rival to dra to dragons, the one. The bird, the biggest of them all. Barack. Noise. Music <laughs> and subset. Now, and <laughs> now we have. Now, I, now. I'm gonna have to roll to see if it's gonna be on our side or not. Is that okay, Road? Yes. Since is it a this beast is... or a monstrosity? Oh, uh, I have been allowed to. So. Yes. We, yeah. Florg and I talked about this outside. I am letting him do this. I want him to be the luck of the draw. Okay. Natural fucking 20! Let's fucking go! <laughs> the luck! Ma! Ma! The dice! But dice got smile upon thee. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have an extra ally here. Let go. Let's fuck somebody's day up. <laughs> oh my god. Royally. <laughs> okay. So is that all that you're doing? Yes. Okay, Jeremy. Yes. Uh, that is a lot of mythical stuff for people to do for me with my tiny daggers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Uh, I forget how an attack of opportunity works. Attack of opportunity basically means you can roll to... So this is going to be... This is more of a preemptive strike than attack of opportunity. Traditional attack of opportunities are if anyone goes outside of your range, you get to attack them without a bonus action. For a gotcha. preemptive... Basically, I'm giving you a free bonus action in action without being in initiative. Gotcha. Um, then give me a second to plan. Let's see if there's anything special I can do. Yeah, while you're doing that, do you want me to migrate to Isari? Uh, go for it, yeah. All right, Isari, what do you got? See, let's see, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. Okay, well, I will... You said he's 60 feet away? Yeah. I am... <clears throat> I probably use my darts because oh, I am not feet? that fast. I only have 40 walking... 40 feet walking. Okie dokie. So you're gonna I try to roll the hit? Yes. 
that misses. Yeah. I know. That's okay. I've been doing bad rolls all night. Except for the one time that you got away from Jeremy. <laughs> well, it's a panic roll. You wasted it. <laughs> I, I managed to not only get the book, but also run away successfully. Right. Also, for Jeremy, I will remind you, you do have Pew Pew. Yeah. Again, I, I'm just seeing if there's anything, you know, special that I can do. You know, stack attacks yeah. on attacks on attacks. Unfortunately, doing multiple actions would require certain things. You would It would say right. in your character sheet if you have it. I, I know, what I'm saying is that how can I use this to deal the most damage, basically? Um, you know what? First of all, I'm going to use uh, Branding Smite oh. on on my revolver. Okay. Um, yeah, just make sure just... Okay. So first roll to... Yeah, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, 17. Miss. 17 is a miss? 17 is a miss. Damn. Okay. Damn, um, boy. Then. Uh, well, if you remember what Mogar had rolled to hit, he rolled a 26. That is true. Well, I, I thought that was, you know, a, a gimme hit. <laughs> but I guess this is a god, so. Mm -hmm. In his um, domain, as well, by the way. Right. Yeah. Which um, makes which makes it that if he dies, he dies for good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Could I use my extra attack? What do you mean by extra attack? Let me look at your character sheet. Yeah, down on my other, I've got a special extra attack. You can attack twice rather than once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Yeah, for an extra attack, you can do that consistently. Awesome. Then, yes, I will do that and try again, because I think Branding Smite's still in effect. Yeah, the next time you hit a creature with weapon attack, before okay. the spell ends. Uh, yeah, duration up to a minute. So we should be fine. Revolver again. Okay. 24. That hits. Good. Okay, so first of all... The revolver does 12 points of piercing damage. Cool. Plus an extra 2d6. Yep, from the radiant damage from the from the smite. Which is 8 radiant damage. Damn! Okay. I think that's all that it does. Alright, uh, now. Yep, yeah, okay. Can y'all be lovely and roll me initiative? Well, now, why would we do that? We've obviously killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> My first ever net 20! Let's go! Four. <laughs> I got a 24! And... Okay, I rolled an 18 on the initiative. Okay, and I also... I rolled a 15. Now, I will also say, don't forget to roll for your companions. We have... Oh, yep. we have the yep. pupper yes, and we have die. the rock. Oh, so uh, I learned so what about the rock? rock. What's up? The rock takes a turn immediately right after mine. Oh, since I summoned it. Actually, actually, yeah, companions. Uh, it, it it's an easier rule for those actually. Fair enough. All right, then we'll uh, go well, that way. Direct companions. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, that's a 19 for me. 19 for you, noise. Okay, so top of the round is Isari. Isari. 
Me? Yes. Eee! Sorry, I'm not used to being the first one to go. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What? Do I want? Um. Hmm. For for an unarmed strike, I would have to be close to him, right? Yes. So I wouldn't be able to use it in this case. Or am I able to get in close and 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 hit him? What is what is your speed? It's four, that's why I'm trying to figure this. Cause I only have forty feet, but like for walking speed. Right. Considering and you said he's about sixty away. Yeah, and you had moved a bit during your preemptive, right? Yes. So I will say I will allow you to use your max movement to get up to him. Okay. So. I, all right, let me. Then I'm gonna try an unarmed strike. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, Fourteen. That misses. Damn. Yeah. Punches you, God. You run up to him. You go for a punch, and you whiff it. <laughs> you rush <laughs> up to him, getting ready to try and land a hit on what you think is like the like basically like an arm of like a giant black dragon but it phases through do you have any extra actions or anything sorry let's see um my bonus actions are like unarmed. Like, I have another unarmed strike that I could use or flurry of blows. I mean, it's your choice. Let's see. Mm. Uh, well, let's try a flirt. Let us try. Let's try flurry flirt of blows. with God. <laughs> no! Flurry of blows! <laughs> I don't want to flirt with God. I have the giant snooze new lady. <laughs> <laughs> the giant snooze new lady. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant snooze new lady. I, uh, uh, 23? I have Hits. 30, but not... Oh! Yeah! So try to get above 20 people. Seven! Seven points of damage! Okie dokie. Jeremy, nice. your go again. It sure is, and guess what I'm gonna do? Uh, burn and smite and pew pew? I'm gonna shoot that fucker, because I <laughs> believe branding smite is still in effect. Okay. So the next time you hit it, uh... Okay, the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, okay. the duration is up to a minute. So I've still got nine turns to do it. Yep, yep. Then let's roll to hit. Ugh. Miss. You fire. 13. Any miss. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my uh, extra action and do it again. 19. Fire. It's even funny miss. A and fire. And and miss again. It's even funny the second time. My, uh, my, my sights need to be fixed again, but <laughs> that that is my turn, unfortunately. Okie dokie. Mogar and your companion. What do we got? Okay, so when I hit him last time, did I manage to figure out if God's From what you saw, they do not bleed, but at the very least from silence, what almost seems like black fog emanates from his wound. It's a dip. <laughs> it's an air purifier. 
and I am going to see if I can cripple him by directly attacking where I would think the uh, the tendon is, you, you know, the Achilles heel. Ooh, okay, roll to I'm hit. Go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cripple him. Maul and him. Telling, Maul his ass. And, yeah, and I'm gonna tell uh, Warg to attack the same location. Send out Warg. Send out the Warg. Okay. So. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. That is, uh, uh, it's probably not going to be enough. What Eight was it? Plus seven. Uh, what's the math? That is fifteen. That is a miss. Okay, that's from me. Now from Wag. My heart, <laughs> Wag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. I doubt that. Okay. What's up? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 misses. Damn. So I was, so I was right. Really do need to, uh, Twenty or more. You get above twenty. Yeah. For, uh... So, yeah, I missed. I missed those attack. Uh, <laughs> so, well, but I believe I can do something as a bonus action though, and I activate Slayer's Prey since I already used my action. Okay. So that's just gonna give me an extra D6 for the next time I do hit. Nice. Okay. So now it is Silence's turn. And who boy. He, he is going to Since currently, if you couldn't tell by the little bit that I said earlier, he is taking the visage of an ancient black dragon. So very, very beefy boy. He, because of how he is I'm going to be nice and not have you rule a thing I'm just going to have him prioritize his attacks so he is going to go for you Mogar first off with a uh, first off with a bite and that is a I don't even have to say the number. <laughs> An 18 Wait. plus a 15 modifier. Do the math. Oh, oh god. Oh. oh, fuck. Yeah, that would hurt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? You were lucky that uh, I rolled wait, wait, low? Wait, wait. There's, there's, a, there's a thing I can do. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure that I could do it though because this fucking thing does not allow me to see like what the thing can do right also I love how we were we're gonna be like oh yeah we're gonna end at midnight and then this shit happens well yeah. somebody uh, decided to plonk the BBEG on us uh, <laughs> y'all wanted the BBEG okay so one reaction, you take the creature attack rolling. You can. Uh, has, okay. Is uh, is silence immune to, to being blinded? No, he is not. Okay. Uh, then he has just a. Uh, he has just dis disadvantage. Oh, you gave him uh, disadvantage. On, 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 yeah, on the attack. These were all super low. Nat <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh my God. That's an even. That's even better. So you see this, just gigantic, like black dragon trying to 
get a bite out of you, almost like Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty, but because like just suddenly the light of the light of song bursts out of you. He is blinded by the light, screeches, growling as he is unable to hit. Kita. <laughs> All right. I should take up my longbow. Yeah, because I will say, because I will also say, given he is blinded, he is unable to do the rest of his well, attacks. No, no, he's not. He's not blinded. It's not a. It, it's like if he, he was immune to it, he would just not be affected by this ability. He's not blind. Okay. Yeah, just, just want to make sure. I will say, for the sake of theatrics, though, and to be gentle with you guys, because he does have multi attack. He will not be able to attack, uh, do the rest of his attacks for for the rest of his turn. Kita. All right. Yeah. I I prepare to aim my my longbow. I take it out. Oh, that is a twenty-four hit. <laughs> oh. Oh, duh. Oh. We're all getting the high move now. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that's six damage. Six damage? Anything added to it? Let's see, and I should take another shot. Okay, go for it. That's a, that's a 24 again! Damn, okay. Consistent! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and the same amount of damage too. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're just getting all the consistent numbers here. You're getting lucky. Yeah, getting lucky. All right, now for the and rock. Play the rock, Johnson. Unless you got bonus action, I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking of that. <laughs> all right. And the thing is, he has multi. The rock has multi attack. Oh, let's That's go. Well. Give it to me, baby. Let's go. It has plus 13 to hit. Let's go. Let go. Let go. Give it to me. Finally, what we got, Flark? A worthy opponent. Our let's see. That's 30 plus 13. Woo! That's 30. That is a 30 that hits. And that is 48 plus 9. Oh, boy. You're Let's getting see. all the high rolls right now. Look, I the need rock, more D8s. The rock has multi attack, so I doubt that this is him fudging anything. Let him be. No, it's fine. Let's no, see. No, no. That is. Let's see. 10 plus. Okay, I, I need to get my calculator out. <laughs> See, this is why you pull in me and have like 30, 30 like dice sets in one giant ass bag. I don't have that though. That is 48 damage. 48. Oh That's my from God. the beak alone. Bring it. And now. Now it is time for. The talons. Okay. 9 plus 13, that is... That is 22. That barely hits. Oh. I'm glad I got plenty of D6s for this. Of course he does. Uh, 
That's 30. 30. Oh my god. Okay. I thought I summoned this thing. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Does. Is. That was your rock's second attack. Does he have a third attack or is that done? That is done. That is done. All right. Back I to think I can only make two attacks. Back third to third attack would be a bit broken. Yeah, that would be a bit broken. So back to the top of the round, Isari. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I do? Oh yeah. Uh, I'll use. Eh? The target's grappled. Oh I... shit! You. Oh, the rock grappled him. <laughs> So that means if you get in a if you want to roll to hit, you have advantage, he's sorry. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna use a short sword. Okay, roll to hit. Jab it, jab it, stab it, stab it. Well Stab it in the heart like Maleficent. It's twelve. Oh that meant you have you so, have advantage. I I don't know how to use that. Just, never, just roll push again, it again. Roll again. Take the biggest number. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I've never done that before. <sighs> Fourteen. Oh, oh no. You try oh. and you try and do a stabby stab, but you just phase through. <laughs> I sorry, Burb. It's okay. <laughs> My luck least... went in my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> At least Big Burp is open. Yay. Okie dokie. Jeremy! Jeremy, you're muted. I sure am. I keep forgetting I keep doing that. <laughs> we uh, doing the pew pew? I'm, I'm gonna do both pew pews. Okay, roll to hit. And uh, considering he is wow. still he is still grappled, he's not going to be able to try and roll against the grapple until his next turn. Because I'm being gracious, so you have advantage. I have advantage, so do that again. Oh God! <laughs> what, what just happened? Let me take a well, look at that. That is a nat one, which means as you go to try and well, no, no, no. <laughs> Wait. Oh wait, yeah, because advantage, because you got yeah, the higher so one. Oh my goodness. You still miss. Yeah, the first one was a seven. To yeah. be fair. You're lucky that you have advantage, or else your, then, or else your gun would have been jammed. No, 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 no. The first one I rolled was a seven, making it a thirteen. Yes. Then I rolled the nat one. Yes, and you're yeah, lucky. But you take the seven, thirteen. Yes, and you're lucky that you had that advantage. Because right. if that nat one was your second, was your second attempt, but right. like your your second shot, yeah, your gun would have been jammed. So okay, so first of all, um, so I'm sorry. Did the thirteen hit? No, it did not, sweetie. I I figured not. Uh, then for the second hit. <laughs> oh no! With, with advantage. And this is where... Oh. oh, Sweetie, do you want me to be nice and get you a set of dice? No, no, no it's fine. <laughs> do you want me to roll for you? Well, for okay, that? but hang on, hang on, hang on. It rolled the same number twice. Nope. Therefore... Nope. No. Technically, He's trying so hard. Technically, no. therefore... Sweetheart. No. He's trying. No. He's trying real hard. I know he's because trying. neither is above the other. Nope. I'm, I'm half tempted to just toss this revolver off a bridge. Mogar! <laughs> oh, thank God, because we got an ad break. Damn it! Oh. Well, this is funny. You sure you don't want uh, some uh, real dice superiority? 
I mean, a real dice would not have much uh, considering the rolls that Flar got just now with physical dice. <laughs> Two net twenties. <laughs> it's all RNG. It's fine. Yeah, RNG is not in your favor, sweetie. Something. It's fine. Are you kidding? Did you remember the rolls he was getting at the beginning? <laughs> yes, but that was not in combat. Yes. Yeah, There's a difference between combat rolls and utility rolls. Yeah. yeah. I better. So perhaps he's better at utility rolls than combat rolls. And he's sorry, he's better so. at panic. I, I, need, I need to be reading him to death. Okay. okay. As are done. <laughs> How well, how about this? Try to debilitate him, like, uh, I don't know, shoot him in the eye with some holy bullets. Hit him right I'm between trying. the eyes. No, no, aimed shots. <laughs> he is trying. He's trying so it's all, hard. It's all or nothing. Yeah. Also, as an artificer, you should, um, especially um, at level five, you should have been able to, like, set, like, special shots that you could use using points. Also, is Song not participating in the violence? That's she... what we're for. <laughs> Big strong goddess. Pulls out a, a wyvern, doesn't do shit with it. I mean, if you want, like, she was more trying to provoke him, trying to let you guys be able to go at him, but... Yeah, it's like... If you guys... like, the, the whole point of us over. being there was she was like, y'all are gonna fight for me. And what about the wyvern? All right, Rainer. <laughs> continuity be damned, okay. What do you mean continuity? This is the continuity. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. I just want to see the wyvern fight on our side. <laughs> After we beat it into submission, yeah. Yeah, true. I All right. Although no, it's you much just smaller. made a pact with its master. Considering it's much smaller than silence, but I will, I will roll for it to see if it can get uh, some multi attacks if, in. Hey, if it's much smaller, smaller than the silence, what are we? Oh, you are We're even peas. tinier. Exactly. We're peas. No complaints. Okay, so first attack hits from the wyvern. Dealing, oh, where is it? That is that amount of damage. Oops. Very specific. Yes. Yes. Gonna do a second attack as it goes for. Uh, do, 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 do. It goes for its stinger. It goes for disco. <laughs> And that unfortunately misses phasing through. But Mishka, where have you been? Still Has got a little bit. Me? Still got a little bit of a hit in there. Yeah, it's a hit. But the the silence is now a little displeased as he glares at Son for a moment. But before he can get an attack in there. She attempts to summon a staff in her hand to try and, like, summon, like, an attack. You can see the beginnings of a radiant magic starting to come above silence, almost like a halo. But he brings up one of his clawed dragon hands, snaps his own fingers, and the magic is broken. Oof. Storytelling. Kita! Yeah? What <laughs> What are you and the rock doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we get an attack? Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> ladies! Oh, I shall my lord. I shall attack with the longbow again. Go for it. Hold on, I uh, want to pick up this now. I am what not kidding. I am not uh, fucking Flar, kidding. Picks or didn't happen. It's 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 kind of sus. Uh, Perfect rolls. I, I swear, I swear, I just rolled this. You you got you got your phone? 
<laughs> yes, I got my yes. phone. Can we have pics, please? Have no yes. The One dice. sec. One sec. Ah. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. My thing is lighting up. Like, all for the hype, but like three like super good rolls especially when you said two nat 20s back to back just curious namely curiosity kill the cat not trying to suss you out i put it in the in the group he, the he did, it did Wait, where did you put it where did you put it in the v no you didn't no you didn't it did no, no. Well, wait no. let's see if it's gonna load might, might not. Yeah, it might take yeah, a while. It's for loading. It. Wait, it's loading. It okay, in? it's loading. You... It's loading. Give it time. Oh, it's like my VPN's ruining it. Oh, damn it. VPN, uh... why have you slowed me down? You no, know, might be there more consistent go. next time to keep it on there. There we go. Where is. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am not believing. It's my fucking luck today! Fuck! Dang! Especially with branded <laughs> dice like that. Yeah! <laughs> I think is the brand is what's helping you, dude. Mm. Wait, what's what's branded the, dice? The, the brand, that is that is the Dungeons and Dragons ampersand. Well, okay. I'll, uh, I'll still be a bit suspicious, but alright. <laughs> All right, I'm letting you go with this, and considering it is a nat 20, like, I'm assuming that you did this before with the other ones, but you remember how a nat 20 goes? I totally forgot. It's been a long as time since I got a nat 20 on attack. Double your rolls. Don't double the modifier, double your rolls when you roll for damage. The damage. Okay. Two, and that's a four, that's six, and that's plus two, that's an eight. So six base without the modifier. Yep, six, yep, so six doubling that, that's 12. Plus your modifier yep. is what? Uh, I think oh, it's with modifier. Wait, so is wait, I, so, I did it wrong. Wait, wait, wait. So okay. it's basically, I it's one, one D8. So I just roll once, then okay. double it, right? Yeah, so yeah, just I roll, did it wrong. Okay, yeah, roll the one D8. Let's redo this. Two. Two? Okay, let's double that. That's four. Yep. Four. What's your modifier? Plus two. So four plus two, that is six. All right. Got that one right. Good, good, good. All right. I just, I wanted to make sure I get that right. Yeah. I think Flark's going to kill him. Oh, really? <laughs> and now it's time for the rock. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. wait, no, I didn't go... I didn't attack twice. Yeah. By the way, what happened to once. Sweetie Pie? You're just not letting Sweetie Pie attack? Uh, or, do, you, do you want an itty bitty little raven in the stator <laughs> like this? Sweetie Pie is hiding inside my cloak. <laughs> That's not much. What if you get slashed? My cloak will attack Sweetie Pie. The Sweetie Pie will be a meat shield. A very, very small meat Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, by the way, the net, it was a plus, plus seven to attack, yeah. So you were okay. 20, weren't you? Nope. I haven't mm. rolled yet. Okay. And that's an 18. Plus seven. That Nin is... 19 plus that's seven, 26. that would be 26. Next yep. time I want video. Alright. <sighs> Roll to hit. That's a six plus two, that's eight. Well, considering oh wait, yeah, six plus two, that is eight. Yes. Okay. So, is that all that you got for yourself? Yes. Alright, time for the rock. Why the rock Johnson turn? And that was already okay. Do 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 I'm pretty sure that was John Cena. What? The fucking doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's off red rock. As you're sounding like fucking Hulk Hogan. 
Just the Rock is an amalgam of all today. of all popular Girl wrestlers. And of course, the multi attack. Okie dokie. That is 14 plus 13, that's 23. That hits. That is making a lot more sense, especially with the Rock having such a high modifier. Yes. Yep. Four plus five, that's nine. That is. That's fourteen. And that is sixteen plus nine. That is twenty-five. Yep. That's for the beak. Noise. And now for the talents once again. I'm. How are you? Oh, fuck. How are you doing? This? That's an 8 plus 13. 8 plus 13, that is a 21. That misses. Well. Alrighty. Alrighty, back to the top of the. Actually, before I do that, for thematics. To keep Song involved with this. She okay, glares at yeah. She's glaring at silence for a moment as she holds her arm extended out that is holding her staff. As she manages, as she keeps concentration and surprisingly is able to intimidate silence enough to where you see a portal open up next to y'all. A portal of thankfully not blinding light, but still bright enough that it is radiating out. As she yells out, "Run!" I, I, I'm fucking yelling back at at her. Then, <laughs> no, you, <clears throat> you Ooh. run. Your power will be stronger on the outside. And for all of you, go, run! All of you, go. No. You don't have to tell me twice. Okay. But friends? We'll, no help, friends? We'll all be able to friends get through soon fine. enough. Just keep to Mercy. it. I'm telling Hunger. you, sorry to run. <laughs> sorry gets a little confused because he's torn, but he does end up running. Peter. Make sure Song is out safe. Will do. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I'll survive. I All look right. towards Song with confidence. She looks at you from the corner of her eye, trying her best to give you a reassurance, basically trying to say, I will be there. Like, I will be there. This is what I intended. Have faith. E. Wait, she's saying to me to, no. me to go out? No, she's just basically from her face, like, from what she's doing with the door. She knows that whether you listen to her, stay, like, listen to her by saying to run, stay here, whatever, this is all according to her plan. She's thought of a lot of opportunities and she is going with the flow. So, okay. <sighs> Sorry, just don't want to ruin the moment, but yeah. she she's going, right? She she's maintained the portal. She is main. She has to maintain the portal for now, but she will be going from come the next round. Because okay. she, she has to I hold. I will it. maintain the attack. Okay. If any, if anything, once uh, I will have Warg on the uh, like on the side. Okay. Line to this time. All right. So by maintaining your attack, are you saying you're holding your action? I no. I am. I'm 
I'm keeping the attack okay. on uh, silence. All right. Isari, I know that you're using your action to run. Jeremy, are you doing the same? Absolutely. Okay. Then it just goes straight <laughs> to you, Mogar. To go. One more time. Well, it's Mogar. Since Mogar is the next in initiative, Mogar, you got, uh, you got action. All right. Well, I... All I can right now is a little bit of... <laughs> if it's something good, give fun. me picks. All right. <sighs> Word of Radiance. Oh. Any creature within range, save or 1d6 radiant. Yeah. Wait, no. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, you know what? I'm just I'm just going to keep it attacking uh since I got to uh, still got good some good shit. Right. Okay. 1 2 3 4. Okay. I think that's oh, I think this is going to hit. Uh, where's my... 14 plus 7. 14 plus 7, that is 21. Beats it, beats it. Considering someone had rolled a 21 before and that missed. Oh, dang. Alright. Mm, that sucks. Alright. Well then. I will have a warg uh, hold action. All right. Vladik is holding action. That means that... So first, Silence is going to... You see that he glares at, si at Son for a moment as he... In a bit of desperation tries to weave away from her, also away from Warg and you, Mogar, and I assume also Kida and the Rock. Wait, wait a second. Is he running? Is he exiting? Is he trying to run? He is, go he is going to try and get closer to the portal oh. to try and break it, but it does lead to an oh. attack of opportunity oh. from yeah. all of you oh. that have stayed. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Even the Rock. Wait, was didn't the rock grapple his ass? True, but he had managed because you heard my dice roll. Uh, he yeah. had managed. I forgot to say it. He had managed to break out of the grapple, but he didn't do. I will say that he didn't do damage right. on the rock. He had just shoved oh. him off, and now is trying to okay. bolt Wait. to the portal right. to break I it. Question. Yes. What? What did he roll? Like, how high was it? He had rolled a... Hold on, numbers. He had rolled a 21. Ah, uh, yeah, he broke through. I think. He escaped. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know, I'll have Mark actually uh, bite at a, at a joint to, tr to at the very least slow him down. Okay. It's, there's not much chance that it hits, but you know, it's as much of a chance as any. Yeah. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Hey, want to know something fun? What do we got? Take a guess. I'm really happy. We got 22? <laughs> no. We got 23? We got, we got a modifier of plus five. Giving us a 25. Hey, wait, you had a net 20 on there? Or a dirty 20? Yeah, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I, love, I love this baby dice. You remember what uh, net 20s mean? Oh, yeah. Double right. uh, damage. Double damage. And uh, Warg's bite attack is 2d6 plus 3. Ooh, so, so you can either do 2d6 and just double the number or do 4d6. Oh. Almost max damage, almost. Ooh. So 
Okay, that is 11 plus 3. So, wait, you well, don't count the modifier. You don't, then, you right? don't double the modifier. So 11, so okay, that's 22. So that's 22 to 25 damage. 25, let's go. Hey, that's a pretty good bite. Okay, let's make it as that it's a bite in a juicy place. Okay. Oh, God. As oh, my God. When Wad goes to get like a good nom at like Silence's neck, he rips. Like, he rips a large amount of skin and scales to where, if it were blood, it would be a bloodbath right now, but since it's just black fog, you see it just spraying out and going, like, upward, going as fast as, like, a waterfall. Slowing the bastard down, at least? Oh, yeah, he is not happy. He is rising. <laughs> like, oh? at, and as y'all take a moment, you're definitely seeing a, from all the damage that has been done so far from the rock, from the arrows, from Vladik, from everybody, from every hit that has been had that has led to like open wounds, there you're starting to count in the tens how many spots there are just this black fog careening out. Aim for the wounds. Dig into his smoky flesh. Smoky flesh? Smoky flesh. Mm, barbecue. <laughs> oh god. Barbecue. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, Kita, you and the Rock do have an attack opportunity. Alrighty, since the rock is the closest, shall I let the rock go first? Go for it. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, wait, oh. you, can't, you can't make an attack of opportunity oh. with ranged weapons. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but so the rock has to go. Yeah. Yeah, only the rock. Okay, time for a multi-attack! Brain on the big boy. Roll to hit. And I'll make sure to take a video just in case. Please and thank you. Please. Gimme pics! Gimme pics! Pictures! Send oh, the video. I think this is gonna be saved the damn video because, um. You did another not 20? Uh, are you sure those dice are Oh my dice god, he's having waiting? the biggest. It's metal dice, man. Metal dice. I've worked, with me I've worked with metal dice before. It is. I would definitely say, from my experience with metal dice, there we go. Because there of, we go. I sentence. Because of how they weigh, it can be a little more. Motherfucker! He yeah. did roll a. <laughs> he he did roll in that twenty. Like I am also dealing with metal dice currently. Like I will actually show on stream. <laughs> Give me oh a moment. I have metal dice here. That's how I've been getting my rolls. So, obviously, we got a lot of luck going on here. We got the luck of God and anime on the rock side at the moment. This is what happens. This we is what happens. We're watching God. Fluffy Paradise before we did this. <laughs> yeah, it's a power of Fluffy Paradise compels you. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the rock is getting one attack of opportunity with critical damage. And let's see. That was that was just one attack, right? Yes, Two, just one attack. Seven, that's nine. Good. That is eleven. And that is fourteen. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. What's the modifier? Plus nine. Okay, so twenty-eight Jesus plus God. nine, that is thirty-seven. God motherfucker damn! Oh boy! Also, Teddy bringing in, bringing in a joke of metal dice is always weighted because and metal I, weight. I hope that doesn't. Ki I hope that doesn't kill him because I want to finish him off. <laughs> where, where the, let's see. Where shall that? I want the trophy. Land? You know what? 
What? The rock aims its beak towards the towards the spot on the neck where Wog had left. Okay, so you're basically just enhancing the wound at the jugular. Yep, and it's piercing damage too. Oh boy, y'all are hearing overtones upon overtones of growls and yowls of pain. And don't forget, this is a multi-attack too. No, 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 not no, for no, 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 not for opportunity. Careful. Yeah, okay. attack of opportunity okay. is just one hit. Okay, that's right, that's right. Never mind. But I'll bite your head off. Yeah. Okay. But okay, yeah, yeah, at yeah. this point, no, because let's see, he hasn't been able to do any actual attack yet, so <laughs> he's just been trying to Come move away. Y'all have tried to go at him. Oh yeah, he's going after you right now, Mogar. Can and... I just do a little bit of taunting? Go for it. Oh god, my ass. 21 to my hit. My sorry green ass in your own domain. We have put you down the slow. I wouldn't have even needed Song's help to liberate this place of your stench. Oh my word! Come at me <laughs> Jesus! Man, so we just brought in the coffin dance for the god of silence. But uh, 21 to hit? Literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking it like a champ. Fuck him. Okay. Right. Okay, good. It's good that you're taking it like a champion dirty. because. Uh... uh oh. He hit, didn't he? Oh, well, yeah. no shit, he hit. Yeah, he hit. Yeah, it's gonna be but... real embarrassing if he dies. Wait, here. wait a second. If. Can I do warding flare again? I, I want to see this. Just a second. Uh, it's. I really don't like how none of the sources seem to be too. Uh, it's only using. Okay. It's it doesn't say that it is on cooldown, so I think that warding flare is just a reaction. So it's on disadvantage if, if that's okay with you. Okay. Or if you want warding flare to be on cooldown, short rest. Let me know. double check what warding flare is. Cleric See. light domain. Yeah. So far, I'm trying to find it too. If there's any other. I will I will allow it. So I will roll again to see if I roll any better because you, know, you want to know what's funny? My AC is 16. He basically has to roll in that one to actually fail. Yeah. So honestly, I didn't do all that much to help you because my first roll was a 6 and this roll was a 10, but with a plus 15 modifier, kind of null and void. So, fine. 16 points of piercing damage Ooh. plus okay. 9 points of acid. Okay, 16 points of piercing. Okay, so that leads me to 30. And With 9 is... points acid. So I'm at 21 now. Yep. Cool. And now that was his bite, mind you, so he is now taking a nom at your at one of your arms and now he Take is going it if you can coward as he is going to now take a slice at you that was an at one <laughs> hey the wing and a miss swing and a miss but he has a second strike which that oh. was a 13 plus 15 that was a 28 yep which means a glorious death <laughs> which means 15 points of slashing damage buddy mm -hmm. okay so now I'm at six you write 21 <laughs> plus 15 yeah 
I you just went. Love, buddy. You went. Fuck you, God. And he just went. Want to bet? <laughs> Hey, I'm st I'm still having my middle finger raised at this guy. <laughs> so is song is song running? She still has to hold the gate. She has to wait until the top of the round for her to go through. Oh, okay, good. Should be it. So she so she's Meanwhile. seeing this. So that is all that uh, silence can do, Kita. Oh boy. Okay. Now it's my turn. Indeed. First while action. Can, well, while you can have Rock, uh, oh, you know what? Never mind. I won't. I won't say it. First action. I, I'll make sure to, just in case. <laughs> just in case the look, the god of luck is like here. I have another one! Right, now this for, these first <laughs> rolls are for Kita. Um... Okay, I'm... Uh, as, listen, as fun dice. as As fun as this is, I feel I need you to put that dice in dice jail, because it's being too the, good. The, the, di the dice costs are upon me. I'm, okay, I I should use another I, dice. Yeah, you I swear. Different, do, do, I swear, if yeah. I get another d two, another net twenty. I would Don't say. Don't forget the video. Yeah. Did you take a video already? That dice might I be took the video of the first one. Did you take a video of this latest one? Not yet. Not yeah, yet. Okay. No, I didn't because I <sighs> like I took a video of when I went. Um, the dice gods are smiling upon me. Okay. Now, you, now I have to change the dice. Now I'm going to... Yes, now I'm going to go... That. Yeah, so let's just go with this new dice. All right. Is this the new dice? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what the fuck video, is that look? Video. What in the world is this? <laughs> what right, in well, the is world is luck? this? Is is it also it's, a metal it's dice? It's a dice then. This is uh, this is different dice. It, is it metal? It's another no. metal dice. I can I only have metal dice and the gem dice. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> I might want you to migrate to your gem dice because you're getting too good with metal, dude. Yeah, should should I should I show you? This is a yes, new one. Yes, it, please. The video. Yes. There. It's there. We go. There we fucking go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, right, well, what the you did fuck? tell him to change Wait. dice. He did. Wait, yes, is this that, is a no. different dice. This it's the same he, kind of dice. No, this he is, said they were metal dice. The, they're different. These are two different, different colors. Sets. They came from two different sets. Why are they the same color? They came from two different sets, and that they were both they were gift gifted to me. And they were the same type of dice. Ugh. Yes, I know. All right. Yeah, at least a different color. My yeah, goodness. I'm. I might have to ch look to see if I have any other dice besides. Yeah. If you can find, after that. Ju just for the sake of safety, right now, if you could find a different set of metal dice, uh, either a metal dice of a different look. Let's or Less your gem dice. More okay, like I'll, I'll be honesty. right back. You know, I hear digital dice work pretty well. <laughs> I feel like we need um, a handicap flag with the digital dice. You know what? If if okay. he keeps rolling that twenties, uh, yeah, digital dice jail. <laughs> digital dice jail. Where the what the hell did I put my gem dice? It's all well to succeed, but without the DNDs, like succeed okay. or die, right? Stuff, it's kind of consequential. Like, this is not meant like, to like bring anything down or anything. Just the fact that, yeah. like, we get that it is fair. luck. We we get that it's luck. This has been fair. luck, but also with so many sequential nat twenties. Where the fuck is it at? 
I'm telling you, I already lost it somehow. Nobody has that many not 20s in a day. Okay, yeah. time for my dice set. Dice set. Buy a you lottery. Have... For real. Oh. oh, there's my other dice. My other metal dice. And do they no look the same? Metal. Okay, I got different metal dice, and they look different. I'll send you okay. pictures. I'll send you a picture of how. Okay. So, sorry, sorry for the distrust, but you know. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Even I couldn't believe it. Okay. All good. What? Okay. I'm sure Taking we appreciate y'all. I'm sure we all appreciate you, like just sticking with this. Okay. Okay. Now I'm getting different rolls. Okay. There we go. That was, there we go. What's a ten plus seven? That's seventeen. So that misses. Uh, yep. Uh, hold on. Real quick, uh, Teddy's asking what Mogar used. Warding flare. Uh, if if it if it's on cooldown, it didn't say so in a few different things, even D and D Beyond. So, uh, if he knows more about it, or if he has a book with that in it. Yeah, but it's using. You can use your reaction to yeah. impose. So okay, it's, it's not definite, and it's not blinding. I'm not so. going to retcon it, but if I remember right with reactions, now thinking about it, technically that has to be like if so like if you are being attacked or if like you have to use it as a reaction yeah. in response to something being done to you, which you have been but, doing. So it besides, does work. Clerics are renowned to be uh, broken at level one even. Yeah. So let's hope it's just normal cleric stuff and yeah. not okay. a few. So the 17 had missed. Okay, time for the second attack. Thank God for multi-attack. And that is 18 in total. 18, that also misses. So both of your yep. arrows, Kita, have phased through. Also, I those, those last dice, those last dice, keep yeah. them decorational. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. They were the first dice, so that's probably why. Those are decorative for sure. Okay. Now it's time for the wait, 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 wait. Bonus action. Wait. Healing light. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Get healed, motherfucker. Oh my Who god. Get healed? You, you Mogar! Me? You! Okay. You're the Nice. <laughs> no, you know, we're just gonna heal silence just just for a goof. Wow. Just for a gap. How much? That for four. Uh, I'm I'm at ten now, uh, at least. <laughs> <laughs> at least you have a little bit more health. It's better than one. Yep. Indeed I, I it suppose. Is. Oh. All right. <laughs> and now it's time for the rock's turn. Lego. Oh dear. He's sorry, he's probably panicking right now. Oh. He doesn't have his precious thing. Uh, let's see, nine, nine plus 13. Nine plus 13, that is 21, that misses. No, 19 plus, no. No, I'm that's doing that wrong. That's 22. Yep. That hits. All right, nice. time for the beak attack. Beak. And now I have more D4s. Beak. I have more D4s I can use now. Yay. Hey, hey, Flark, you know what you, what you could use for uh, those other dice? Okay. Oh my god, you're going to let them use those dice for the rock? No, a fucking dice jail. I have one right here. <laughs> I also I also have a dice jail. Right, how, many, how many how many how many weapons? Oh, wait a second. How many? Uh, the rock has how, two how has dice? two attacks. Yeah, but it, the beak is forty eight, and the talons forty six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. That's six eight so far. And twelve plus seven. That is one second. I'm that's nineteen plus nine. 
27? No, 27. 28. But, yeah. Wait. Calculator. Yeah, no. Yeah, 19 yeah, plus 9 is 28. 28. Yeah, that's 28. Okay. That's 28 damage. Okay, so putting down the 28. Alright, time for the second attack. Wait, how many attacks is going on right now? That is 23. So he just did the the beak. Now he's doing the... What was the it? Talent. The talons? I, I, thought, I thought he did the talons earlier. Oh, nope, yeah. that was the beak. Right. Now yeah. for the talons. Okay, and the talons, 23, that hits. Yep. One sec. Ah! Run away, die! <laughs> uh. Holy moly, that is 16 plus 9. 16 oh. plus 9, that is 25. Yep, and grappled! And grappled, damn. <laughs> Okay. Uh, D- wait, no, wait a second. No, no, it's not just immediate grapple. It's DC 19. DC 19, true. Yeah, DC 19. Please okay. do not just do automatics. Okay. I I will allow the previous grapple for that, but yeah, let's try and be All more right. cognizant of that. So, yeah. Oh, boy. DC 19, and remind me, what am I, what am I rolling? Strength, I'm dex, pr- what? I'm pretty sure it's strength. Let me check. Uh, should be, wait, for grapple, usually it's strength or dex, athletics or... Hmm. I will go dex with this, and that is a dirty 20. Okay. Once I, 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 um... So, if it, if it's dex, it's a dirty 20. If it is strength, it is a 24. Either way, if the DC is 19, then silence maintains. So, okay. one, so that we one. don't dilly dally too too much longer because it is almost okay. one a.m. Yep. Um, considering it is now the top of the round, Isari and Jeremy have both gone through the gates. Son is going to use this time to go through the gate herself, and she is also going to try and get one last attempt of a strike on silence which does land as you see just like a sudden large beam of light cut like Kareen from the gate out to specifically Silence's face, dealing what almost seems like burning, but it can't burn. But it just seems that way because of how much black fog is emanating from his face. But he, Silence is definitely not looking well right now. So, for clarification, she is at the other side of the gate. With Isari and Jeremy. That's a good time for us to attempt an escape or fight to the death. Yeah. Morg, we gotta escape now. Well, Mogar. Bye. Mogar. Mogar. Morg is my boy. Yeah, sorry. Morg is where I'll be if I don't make it. Mogar. Gotta escape, man. Are you well, are you running? Well, we're definitely going to be attempt tempting, and I'm taking work, and I'm taking work to try and escape. So you do know that means an attack of opportunity. Oh, fucking hell! It's Ooh. gonna suck. Oh. Wait a minute. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, wait a second. Silence did try to attack of opportunity. Uh. Uh. Song. I will say he tried, but he failed. He got a nat one. And on that. that you can only have one attack of opportunity. Okay, fair enough. 
I, I, I believe. Let me let me check that beforehand. No, you wanna... are you are right. You can only have one attack of opportunity with you bringing that on, and he failed yeah, that. Okay. He no longer has an attack of opportunity. Okay, I, I really do not want to be cheatsy with any of this. No, I appreciate it. Okay, well then. As the La Vista sucker. <laughs> As you... You know, actually, there oh. is one thing I can do on the way, though. Oh, what you gonna do? Crossbow. Okay. Oh, my God. Alas, um. sayonara, sh shot. Motherhaka. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> uh... Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I can do burning hands. I didn't know that. Instead, hmm. 50. Would I, would I have uh, been uh, close enough for 15 feet cone? I will allow it for theatrics. All right. Theatrics. Let's try the new clerical powers on the way. Burning hands. Noise. <laughs> Sawaludo. <laughs> okay, so that is a three six. Okay. Uh, let me just roll that, and if he saves on a dex save, uh, he gets half. Let's see. Got it. And what's the DC save? The DC save is thirteen. Thirteen. And I got a eight. So he only takes four because okay. I rolled a 15 and with his dex modifier being two, that's a 17. Right. Well, that was the last insult to injury. <laughs> <laughs> he just did it. He's like, all the way out, motherfucker. Bye. As you and Warg. See, well, also, Kita, uh, did you yeah. and. I'm assuming you we and the rock are also careening. To, to the portal, yes. Okay. Oh, I thought you'd leave the rock in there. <laughs> <laughs> I the I being carried on the rock. Excuse me. Fair enough. Listen, that I'm rock slow. The rock just that rock is basically what has gotten most of the damage between Rarg and the rock. Right. Mm -hmm. With the, the companions punch. have done most with, of the damage. With the questionable with the, dice. With, with the dice. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the dice's fault. I don't blame Flark. I blame the dice. Yeah, no, I'm blaming the dice. I'm I'm not faulting anyone. Can but... you fault on the uh, fault on a manufacturer? We cheated dice. Yeah. But uh... as everyone is, the, as the last of you are like just sprinting over to, like sprinting over to the the portal. Whee! You hear from, you hear from silence, just gasp for breath as he is very much on his last leg. From the corners of your eyes, you can see the continued, like puffing of fog from his wounds. You will rule the day. As Son then closes the gates. Before he can even attempt to try and get any more moves on you. <laughs> As. Now, instead of silence. Uh -oh. Is a hum around you. Oh, oh, finally back, back, back. out of the chaos. And into a lullaby is Song's Domain. That was not what I had expected, though we did it. Well, you came more... I, I, I keep forgetting <laughs> his name. Dogman remind me character's name again. I keep on forgetting it. Mogar. Mogar. And Thank you. I keep on mixing the two <laughs> names. He's, he's just 
with Warg being back, being covered in orc blood, fucking falls off the mount. You, Mogar. <sighs> you definitely need some healing. Unfortunately, the healing that you may serve, Kida, is not quite what he needs. He has some yeah. time left, but there are some things that may not be changed, but they can be prolonged. Uh. However, I am allowing you this once, Mogar. I will not return you completely to your youth, but I can buy you time. At the very least, to continue with what we have promised. You will still be the sage as you have been, but on borrowed time. <coughs> I would be honored to have such time as to spread your word, at the very least, as far as we agreed. Very up well. Sorry? Up until I reach your domain, bathed in your light, I shall fulfill what we promised. Very well. You shall see me again yet, but know that death has not come for you. Not today. As she walks over closer towards you, bringing a hand to your cheek. Almost motherly as the exact weight and pressure of her hand almost feels like your own mother's. A light emanates for a moment, cascading over your cheek. A very subtle newfound energy flows within you. You know that this is not enough to keep you alive forever, but it will give you a hope to keep on for, for however long it holds you. And I thank you. You're, you're a little quiet. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Song. This will keep me alive long enough for me to, at the very least, spread your kindness. And I thank you for not only holding on to the words that you keep, but also holding on to... Effectively yourself. And this goes for all of you as she brings a hand to yours, Mogar, bringing you to your feet. It's like he's, he's a bit shaky, but he, it, it really shows now that he's an old man. <laughs> he's, he's an old, he's an old guy. Yeah. All of you have shown great wonder. And while your companions may be questionable, as she says, I am the rock for a moment. <laughs> the rock just tilts his head, tilts his head at, confused. All the same, all the same have been poetically ironic. Unlike the one that you have just encountered, I hold to my promises as she extends a, a hand out. Four smaller individual portals open, each in different biomes, locations, one of a library, 
one of an open an open plain one near a temple and another near a city all of you may recognize where your own heart is supposed to go as Psalm looks at you all once more I keep to my word and as for those of you that hold to my word you know that you will do the same your homes wait for you unchanged the you same see. moment as when you had been taken but spirited away no longer hey, hey mogar mm. let's shake hands one last time oh i <laughs> I sh shake your hands, leaning on the wad because you know I'm, I'm getting shaky. I'm getting old. <laughs> and then I cast cure wounds. Yeah. Oh. I'll help you in the long run. Cure wounds uh, in the second of level. <laughs> oh, aren't you sweet? Anyways, no need to count for how much healing. Doesn't matter. Too late. <laughs> but anyways. Um, 12. The, and I, the, so, like, Isari's kind of like, like, twiddling his little claws together. Because he has, like, a little. He While he was over there, he was kind of putting a little gift together, like a ken, in Kenku fashion. So he just, like, goes up to everyone and goes, Here, take friendship. And he kind of gives each of them a feather. Mm. Like, his, like, his own little feather, like, showing his, he's, like, friends with them now and to oh, you sweet. and to okay. you Isari I'm sorry yeah. that he led you on claiming that he had what you were searching for precious item gone precious item is not gone still hidden but not gone just thankfully silence does not is not anywhere near it Though I wouldn't Ugh. be surprised if he may plan to come against me or anyone related to me in the near future, given we've left him licking his wounds near the point I of collapse. I could have finished the job if I was a little younger. <laughs> oh, I hey, know. Hey, old man. Ugh. We got a community. I know. And a time will come when he can be vanquished, but ideally that'll be a time when we have another deity to take its place. One wiser. Because without one to take over his domain, if one aspect of reality is collapsed, then all will be soon to follow. So if anything, it may be best that we have left him alive. If you say so, but don't go <laughs> song. Please do me this favor and don't go anywhere near other dark deities or their realms. I will be sure to keep a distance. I may still I want to. I may still want to give to community and give community therein. But I have definitely learned after this to keep my distance. It's a respect of myself that I didn't have before. And both grown. Indeed. And people want to assume that deities are stagnant. And orcs are pure evil. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think all orcs are evil. Only the oh. ones who try to attack others. Uh, no ruin, Molly. For no reason. Your new friend. <laughs> you, new you, friend. you still have a lot to learn, kid. <laughs> yes, it, I, I still have a, I still have a lot to learn. I know. 
It's just gonna take me a while. Son, you see Son smile for a moment. <clears throat> and you see her her hand stretch out again to the portals. With two fingers out for a moment. She brings her fingers together. And the two and two of the portals. One that is of a prairie, one that was to a city. Merge. Showing one location that both of you may find familiar. Huh. Well, might as well go. Yep. Uh, Adventure is no a no out. No see friends no more? Lose memory of friends? One day. Okay. Sorry. Maybe one day. Hopefully we meet each other again. Eat feather! Kenku friend! Uh, I'm actually, Always show I'm, friend to Kenku! Mogar actually grabs his axe, and you see those, like, two, like, uh, side ponytails he has? Yes. Yes. Cuts them off, and gives one to Isari, and tosses one to Jeremy. <laughs> Take it, whether you want it or not. It's a souvenir. Um, sure. And you just see it, sorry, kind of like his eyes go really wide and he just cuddles it. <laughs> Jeremy just kind of holds it by one of the knots and just goes, thanks, and puts it in one of the pockets it has left. Uh, You're welcome. And I, all the time I have left is short, I'll try not to forget about you, white coat. <laughs> oh. Trust me, I'm sure we'll cross paths in the future. Or well, the past, who knows. You yep. might as well tell us your name. You never did open up. I suppose I owe you all that much. Um, I'm no one special. I'm just Jeremy. Jeremy. He has a friend! Jeremy. I'll remember That's a nice that name. name. Jeremy friend! I'll Song oh. friend, all friends. Kita, do you mind helping me out? My sure. hip hurts like hell. My app, arm's still pretty messed up. Certainly, my old friend. Certainly. Yeah, uh, shuffles towards the now merged portal with Kita. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> with with all the with both companions. The Cape Pinion animals falling behind. Yeah. Most likely. <laughs> Great just rock. giant rock. And I shall call. And I shall call Rocco. Oh my lord. Rocco's modern life. <laughs> no, no. No, no. The other Rocco. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> <It's just> a... <laughs> Before. As a quick parting gift, not even looking at you, uh, Kita, um, Son yep. does tap your shoulder and then also taps the rock. And before you know it, in your other hand, you have a leash. <laughs> Be sure to keep that one contained. You don't want to have any, you don't want to have any enemy's eyes. I'll try my best. Get to eat an elephant day. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget. A whale. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well go dragon hunting. Oh. <laughs> you can go do that on your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just gets him to shuffle him back to the portal. Yeah. Until we see you again, Saul. See you again. Given you two, I don't think there will ever be a moment where we won't see each other again. Whether it be in your thoughts, in your dreams, should you wish me there, I am willing. <laughs> I'll pray to you. Friends, stay safe. Giant ladies, stay safe. <laughs> Human Jeremy, stay safe too! Sorry. 
stay safe. Yep. Stay safe. And then okay, with now that, we all he just kind of does like a little. <laughs> yep, I was gonna say, and with that, he does a little shuffle dance back into his portal, and he's gone, back in his temple. Jeremy, have you gone as well? Jeremy just kind of does a wave and pulls out his uh, red and white notebooks and just starts jotting some notes down as he walks through his portal. Fucking typical. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all could have asked about the books. <laughs> but we didn't. That's where you spent your say. privacy. So now you'll never know. Exactly. The only one who knows is sorry. <laughs> well, you only know one book. Yeah, that's just true. There's I mean, do you, more. would we really have bullied you out of your books? I don't think so. <laughs> you almost no, broke his but... sorry's neck for one book. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, see, that book was arguably the most important one. <laughs> I am okay. going to pull the GM card here and get us ready to end the stream yes. and everything for tonight because some of us has to go sleeps. Yes. Yes. But yep. All of us has to go sleeps. Yes. All of us. <laughs> but when all of you return to your own homes, doing whatever you need to, Jeremy going up to whatever authorities that you have known that have kind of led you on into thinking, oh yeah, you're safe, but in reality, <laughs> your path was more intertwined than you had ever thought. Isari, with going back to a very simplistic goal of finding what you have been in search for, eventually you do find it at home. And you find other things to be in search for. Kita and Mogar. You two end up finding another interesting set of characters. For a second, I thought you were going to say another village to pillage. No. <laughs> <laughs> you two find another similar set of characters not too different from those you have interacted with in the past their faces are different but their personalities are very much welcoming well, as you may have, the holy word as you may have guessed <sighs> through the years you end up becoming the founders of your separate organizations. Fuck yeah. Holy. <laughs> the Carrier the Church Crow. of Song. <laughs> Not only the Church of Song, but each of you with your own drives. Kita, the head of the Carrier Crow. An adventurer's oh. guild known for the bravest of warriors. <laughs> from those that have stood the test of time and used their own time to, by proxy, tempt fate. Most known for holding entities of older ages, from elves to tieflings to dragonborns, with a few younger ones along the way. You become known to... You become known throughout the material plane as a guild of wonder. By proxy for you, Mogar, as well, you are known as the head of the Order of the Feeding Hand. A more sedentary folk. More centered on interacting with those around you. Reciprocity, whether through the word of song or by more secular means. 
However, as fate would have it, there would be a day early in your order's inceptions. Where you as founders are put to the test. Your people in the beginning grow wary of your collaborations. The very same prejudices you have been sworn to put aside still linger. And you have to put basically your money where your mouth is. And unfortunately, it does mean you bring each other your deaths. But it is not in vain. As at the same time, not only does a crow bless your bodies during your final moments, but it also sings a very familiar lullaby as your souls are brought to the plane of song, able to rest once more. Song, you should read the Bible I made about you. It's inerrant. <laughs> hey, Song. Good to see you again. Oh, my God. As before we go to too much chatter, I will say, yeah. do you know the wall? This is the end of stream. This is not the end of our time together as the road to dusk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around as I figure out who we are going to raid out to. You know what? <laughs> Let's yeah, you know what? For simplicity's sake, we'll go to the Sucky Bay. So let me get the raid message out. She's There's... playing. You may. She's playing her uh, obsession yeah, game. Yeah, she doing funger. So I can finally funger? retire Kida. Fear and hunger. Uh, hunger. Hunger. Okay, and, and uh, then here is the Ogre's raid message. Definitely dead. Play... dead as hell. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the. Finger for the send off for oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. So okay. let's get the raid going to Lexi. As I already well, did most of my ending spiel, but again, thank you all so so much for sticking around for this. This was an absolute blast. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, <laughs> whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye-bye. See y'all. So long. Bye.